Good morning, good evening, whatever it is. Hey Caesar, can you hear me? Okay, once again, I got all the uh, bugs out of the issue here. And uh, grats on that uh, great print, man. Awesome. Well, that's good to hear. One's not, one is already um, out on family business. There's Anna. Anna, you playing Michael's game? Uh, I'll talk about that shortly. If I'm here by myself, as guys are rolling in late, traffic is uh, a mess around here because you know this is like um, from last night. I'm I'm a hundred percent better than last night. Yeah, 
Last night was awful, so uh, um, I'm getting there. But um, so it's like Friday here on a Thursday because no one's working tomorrow, I guess, in the Philly market. So traffic snarled everywhere. So and no one's here yet. <laughs> Thanks for asking. They're not done. Hey, what's up, Eat the Surf? I didn't see you on tonight. Were you on or no? Good. It's been a chaotic mess of a week for me here. Uh, I was off today, which is so refreshing to be off from the real job. So I got the uh, I got the uh, sound thing issue resolved, which was just one press of a button. Uh, I'm feeling good about all that crap. Yo, Naz. Yeah, and we plus we got like I said a super cool giveaway tonight. Uh, 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 now I gotta remember what button to hit next. Uh, let's do the tro Ooh, we got troller games next, right? Yeah, yep. So we still got seven minutes. I thought Bill and Master Crafter would be in here in here first, but we'll see. Sunday. No, no, no. The beginning of the week for me is Excel's Wednesday. I uh, Sunday's usually I can't Sunday the last stream of the week. Yeah, good question. So we got this week. You got Wednesday, tonight, Saturday morning, Sunday night. So we got Saturday morning. We have Battle Tech, a special Battle Tech event Saturday morning, and then then we got Gabin. We got a DM's roundtable now Sunday night. Hey, Dave, thank you. Thank you very much. So. Yeah, I usually count the Sunday as finishing the week up. second. So, like, I had to take today off. I was just so out of it. You know, especially with all the coffee bits and stuff. Hey, goats, good to see you. I, I needed a, I needed a respite, man. Absolutely. 
your character to see it. Alright, Tom's up. Tom's here shortly too, so we're good. I don't know what time Walt was working till, but it looks like we're in pretty good shape. No Alan tonight. He's a family uh, thing, but that was already planned. <clears throat> Back to Norwell tonight. The wonderful wild coast with the Norwell headhunters. Venture 951, the wandering antagonist. As Anna says, I'm always very vague in what, what, <laughs> what the titles mean. It's one of our lower level groups. Hey, what's up, man? So, a little trickier, E. Um, I got 25 albums from this gentleman. Uh, uh, this is called uh, Bastion. Is the name of the song. And a lot of this is uh, I got. Uh, I have the right to use all of it because of uh, uh, I guess about a year and a half, two years ago, humble bundle purchase. So I have all his music. I have the license to all of it, which is awesome. Though. So, guys, some great stuff. And uh, got I got some cool like uh, futuristic sounding stuff for Saturday morning for the battle tech stream. As we know, as a, as a Twitch streamer, where you're going to get banged, and that is music copyright infringement, right? Number one place. I'm not that I'm not that talented. I'm not that talented. I would love to, but. We had a group, nice group of characters tonight, and uh, I'll come live and uh, still, uh, still solo here. They're on their way, but we can talk. Oh, Caesar hitting up with a monster. Three specials. Nope, had a wrong. There you go. Already had one. Just had a, 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 a and we have a new emote from uh, from Mike Disney and Taryn. The wrong button emote, and I just did one. So good evening. As you can see, it's quiet in here right now. <laughs> uh, TBK, you want to give them all to me? Oh, what's up, Santa? Good to see you, man. So, um, uh, you know, uh, look, the, it took me three and a half freaking years, man, of grinding, you know, networking, grinding. It, it, was, it was a haul, man, just to make that partner status. Don't feel bad. Seriously, I, I, I understand completely. I do. And there were some frustrating times. It was rough. Just you got you to keep at it. And you got to get your niche. And, you know, it's just uh, it's just uh, the way of uh, the way of the way of things. All right. So tonight we've got a new sponsor, which you've talked about. I use their stuff. As you can see, a picture of Lendara up. Um, one of my uh, I just love this program, Portrait Workshop by World Spinner. And so he, uh, we partnered with them so that we can, uh, you know, uh, we're going to be doing a lot more. We're going to get some custom items. We're going to get some really cool things in the Portrait Workshop program, uh, along with uh, got some licensing for commercial use and uh, giveaways each month. And let me uh, throw up, let me throw, throw up there. Oh man, Kai. So, uh, wow. So that's, we got, we got 3,000 already, uh, which if they go all to the players, that's great. They're going to need it tonight. So that's six specials. But if, uh, but uh, Caesar, if you want to, uh, 
So here's the deal. Two things. If Reaper raids into us or we get we clear level three on a hype or get close to it, I'm going to add in, in addition to Portrait Workshop, I'll add in a Reaper giveaway tonight too. So note that, okay? Um, so just someone hit, hit up with 100 or, or, or something like that to get that hype train running. Uh, look at that. Uh, thanks. Uh, thank you. You know, man, I can't believe we didn't. our paths didn't cross at GaryCon. Is that crazy? It's just nuts that our paths didn't cross at GaryCon. I guess we're both very busy, man. That's nine specials already. You guys are wonderful. Thank you. Um, so let me, uh, let me, uh, man, I feel better as you probably can tell. I'm smiling a lot more. Um, uh, so the giveaway tonight, portrait workshop. Okay. I'll cover, I'll cover my face. Great company. As you can see all the wonderful things you can do. And a lot of these are older portraits that I have here. Um, and they get more and more features added in. And so as you can see, like some of the newer groups or some of the all-star groups, they have really cooler looking. I haven't redone a lot of the portraits. And, uh, and uh, hey, oh, good to see us more. Good. I'm a one-man show here. So, I mean, I'm trying to say thank always. Everyone knows. Another thing, always say, always, no matter how small, how large, Raids are always appreciated. What a wonderful thing. Thank you so very much, and thank you for the follow. So, Portrait Workshop, that's our giveaway tonight from our new sponsor. You get into the beta, which is, you know, you don't have to pay for it. So, same beta I have is the beta you have, the beta that Tino, Monkey Boogers has, and anyone else who has access to it. That's the giveaway tonight. So, it's a really huge thing. You get to do everything I get to do with Portrait Workshop now which is a great program. Now, remember this. Portrait Workshop is for use on Android or iPads and iPhones only yet. They haven't done a PC version. Let me tell you something. I, I got it right on my phone, and I also have it right on my iPad, and it's awesome. So it's easy to use, um, and I got some really cool features on it. Let me set this up. Uh, looks like, uh, all right, so we're, we're close enough. I'll add in. I'll add in the Reaper. I'll add in the Reaper giveaway. So we'll do these. We'll, the second giveaway we'll do is these two, Ingrid Female Gnome and a Metal Dwarf, Naren Dwarf Halberdier. All right? So that'll be the second one. So especially if you're if you already have Portrait Workshop and you win the first one, you can get those. So uh, I wouldn't recommend using it while driving. Um, thank you, uh, Santa. Good to see you. So uh, I would never recommend that. But um, let me set this up. What's up, dude? We were moving furniture. Oh, oh, she she uh, drafted you. Yeah, well, I'm all through too. Oh, well, that's great. So they were actually. <laughs> so they uh, one second here. Let me uh, get this up. So they were actually upstairs helping my wife move furniture while I was down in the basement. Well, that was nice of you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Patrick, I'll bet. Oh, man, you guys are so, wow. We already have 11 specials already. 11 specials and a resub. I'll bet. So, everyone, all to the party, I'm assuming. Just please let me know. I saw, I saw, um, I saw, uh, uh, Caesar said, uh, said a TPK, you know, but I, uh, I think you were kidding, right? You guys want, you don't want them to, to get killed, do you? So, um, Man, I I'm all over the place here. Let me. Uh... Don't kill us. We just move furniture. <laughs> Thank thanks for helping my wife. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. So the portrait workshop giveaway slash the Reaper two minis. Second one is up. Exclamation point drawing. Like I said, I love portrait workshop. It's a great program. Did um, well has it too. Did I email? Yeah, I got Riku. You got it. Yeah, it okay. worked fine. I use Portrait Workshop even running my Battletech game. So I did. I got one Battletech book, uh, Patrick. Thank you for a giveaway for uh, for Saturday morning. Appreciate it. And Tim is picking up his Eberron book. He will be picking up that Eberron book. Um, and by the way, uh, just note this. If you uh, you do get bonus tickets, if you are subbing, it's always been that way. But everyone's eligible to win. So just letting you know, we're already on a level four tonight. Um, so here's the deal. 
in Norwell with the Headhunters, a legendary uh, unit out of uh, right in that uh, in that uh, small town. I don't know. If it's, I don't know if it's a city. Or would you call it a city? It's a frontier town. It's a frontier town. That's a good. That's a good way, Bill. That's yeah. a good way of saying it. Yeah, it's, it's frontier it's, town. It's a, it's a wooden palisade wall city town. Bill's in Allen's seat today because he he likes it. It's nice. It's warmer over there. Well, you have lights and. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like the camera action going on here, so. Uh, so uh, from there, the Norwell Headhunters are, are first uh, noted in uh, from the ashes. Great stories, and we just loved uh, the info. You know, I just loved everything there from Blade Storm to all the other things that were written up by it. And this is our newest group of, of low levels, and that's that's who we're going to be running tonight. So we have, everyone's got two, we got six, uh, so we got an eight character group with two NPCs. And uh, they're starting out the Sundered Spear, which is uh, um, an inn uh, run by Falara, an ex-adventurer. And Lindara, Walt's character, who's in all red, is, is uh, uh, bar, bar mating there undercover, kind of. Trying to always wean out information, and that's, uh, that's a, a great thing. So, uh, and that's what we are. We got 11 specials, man. That is awesome. So I'm going to give all, I'm going to give all PCs, give all PCs. Y'all have one regular, right? I'm going to give all PCs the exception of one, that's six, uh, one of Tom's. I'll do uh, Tom, one of Tom's. Matt gets, Matt gets one. Everyone else is two. Okay. So you're one and one and everyone else is one and two. All right. One regular, two specials to start off. From all that great support tonight. Thank you so very much. There goes my voice a little bit again. So, yep. Awesome there. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Catano. Cool. So, some things. What's going on? Just remember, I, I, um, Saturday morning, Saturday morning special. We're getting to play a Battletech game second time. Tim will be here in person. Wall will be here in person. Patrick, Canadian Ancient Gamer, Phantom, and Balfour are playing, definitely, in that one. Uh, and that is Saturday. And then Sunday night now, Sunday night is a DMs roundtable, all right? With John Birchfield, definitely in from Blue Box, Chuck Cumbo, Anna, myself, and maybe one or two other guests. I've reached out to some other streamer DMs. And, uh, you know, we'll see who else is on. So it'll be a, it'll be a fun time. And that'll finish up the week. What's up, dude? What's up, man? How are you? Doing good. You doing better than last week? I know you were sneezing up a storm. Uh, yeah, my wife was the one who was sick. Oh, really? Well, it's all it's going through all of us, so. Yeah. Yeah, I got out of commission. I was just suffering for a couple of days. Not too bad. <laughs> Screamer DMs, yeah. <laughs> so, um, anyone else have anything to report? I mean, you see those two boxes there on the floor? There, that's all. That's I haven't gotten to that. Yet. That's still Dwarven Forge. That's, oh, that's the Dwarven Forge Kickstarter. That's, uh, the Leonard. Yeah, yeah. Those. Those two brown boxes. Yeah. So uh, I said this last week, and thank you for that uh, hype train. And that's um, really appreciate it. Um, one of the last things Leonard did was before he passed, he he's Leonard was uh, addicted to Kickstarters, and Leonard. Um, deeded over his his because it wasn't gonna be ready before he passed and he knew it kind of didn't tell us that was the reason but he uh gave me his last kickstarter for dwarven forge and so i, I was thinking about unboxing it live maybe or doing something like that on the show just because it's from Le one of the last things from leonard lakovka you know so um you know we may do that all right we are set uh, everything's good like you said a portrait workshop giveaway tonight a buy into the beta program so you can do the same thing a Waller I does with characters really cool really a neat company and we got some more stuff coming with them as they go full live very soon probably June I think it's June 6th or something like that really oh is that okay cool yeah uh Dale thank you yeah absolutely that was a really yeah, it was a really great thing that 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 he did. He he uh, he did that for me. I was really appreciative. Absolutely, it was really nice of him to do that. So, um, yeah, but we uh, like I said, we get some, we're able to get some bones. We'll see bones next week. 
back the new for with a new character, a new half elven thief. Can't wait. Okay. Everyone got all the characters prep spells chosen? Yes. What spell? <laughs> it's a good one. That's a good one. Which is a shame because I'm actually feeling awake tonight. That should happen. Spell cast. Are you going to be awake Saturday morning? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even ask for Saturday off. I just gave it. Yeah. That's awesome, though. You get Saturday off. You get to play Battle Saturday Tech. Off too. Cool. You get to play Battle Tech with Tim. Yeah, they're closed on Sunday, right? Who's ShopRite's closed? Oh, for Easter? Yeah. They oh, don't okay. Normally do that. That's awesome. When uh, the uh, youngest brother took over, all kind of like Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A, but just for holidays. Just for holidays. That's I mean, I, I've I've had off Good Friday. I see you're all broken up about that too, aren't you? I've had good off, yeah. off Good Friday for 27 years for my company. Every Friday. Yeah. I gotta go to the for a half day tomorrow. <laughs> you got uh, uh, Maximilian one and two, and Matt one and one. Everyone else is one and two. Okay. Yeah, since you were the last one in, you. Yeah. Don't you don't need to rub it in. We got 11 specials already. That was wonderful from the community. <laughs> That was great. Like I said, a Project Workshop giveaway and a Reaper giveaway of a couple minis as a second one. Please feel free to sign up. Did you say one and one for each? No, one and two for Max. You're in, you're in the Sundered Spear in Norwell. Now, last couple things that have really happened. You remember you guys were assaulted by uh, the, you know, the Dark Cloaks, attempted to burn down. Um, Evie of the Dark Cloaks. Yes, Evie of the Dark Cloaks, yes. And the last adventure you guys did was number 926 at Reclaim Rocky Top. All right? And that was the last one you've done. It's been a little while for this group because we're on 951. So, we, yes, of course, we bounce around between 26 adventuring groups. Hey, well, good to see you, man. Awesome. New laptop's always a good thing. So, um. That's a really stretch out I see tonight, Will. Big guy. No CG. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Yep. You're, in, you're back in the Sundered Spear. It's been quiet last couple weeks. <clears throat> Things have calmed down. There hasn't been a lot of activity to the north uh, toward Comrae or any of the other uh, towns. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw up the Norwell map for everyone real quick here. As you can see, here's Norwell on the Wild Coast. You go north is Comrae. That is from uh, a, a, a Trillard game adventure, right, which we did. New Briar is from Shadows of the Halfling Hall, another one. Lorraine to the northeast. That is actually Orlane renamed from Cult of the Reptile God. So I've added some areas into their mine, into this area. And uh, we're in, in Norwell. And uh, midway between Greyhawk and, I guess, Selene, you could say, is that area of Nor of, of the uh, of that area of, of the, the world of Greyhawk. So... Um, Major travel... Yeah, it's a major travel corridor if you're attempting to go through Selene from Harby or Greyhawk or the Wild Coast. Yeah, because there is some passages through the Welkwood that's the safest. Um, and, and you know what? I messed up. We did another adventure. We did the Rangers of Arkwood. I forgot that one, remember? So we did. That wasn't. Yeah, we did another one. So shows you how good I am with memory. Tuna fish. Tuna fish. Yes, another emote. So uh, if you note, uh, also, uh, thank you, Mike Disney and, uh, and Taryn for... Uh, making this new animated emote. I got rid of the love one. I got enough love ones there. The the wrong button emote. <clears throat> so, yes. Always a fun time. So, in you're 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 in the Sundered Spear. This is a one shotter, by the way, everyone. Six of you. Because uh, well, actually, seven. Lindara is working right now, so she's off and about. The two dwarves are always at the table by themselves. Like they always, and you got Medwin and Fire Elementalist, Circe, Ranger Cleric, Loyally, Ranger Mage, uh, Maximilian, uh, Elven Cavalier, uh, um, uh, Matt Shoutlane, uh, Shadow Madge Thief, Sconce, especially Priest of Moradin, and uh, oh my gosh, uh, and, and Aristide, Fighter Maester, and then you live with Lindara, straight fighter. So you have, yes, <laughs> you have that group, and uh, in comes in your contact, your main your main person who kind uh, who you rescued from cult of the, in cult of the reptile god as well, and uh, uh, also a character you can play 
in Horror of the Holes, Candace the Bandit. Good day to you all, she says. Good day. Everyone looks healthy and not sick. Thanks, you mean bro. around this table or around uh... a... <laughs> that was a joke. <clears throat> Where's your big, where's the big, uh, the big one with the big weapon? I don't know. The big one with the two-handed sword. What's her name? He, She-Ra? She-Hulk. She-Hulk. <laughs> On area, right? An, uh, yes. Where, where is she? Eronia. Eronia. Oh. Uh, I haven't seen her in a... <clears throat> well, so be it, she says. Unfortunately... You have what you have here. We have a mission for you. We'd like uh, Bladestorm and the, the powers of be would like you to patrol southeast of Narwhal. Out about 15 miles. Not really a lot of activity down that way. Correct. But we're getting weird stories back. Of right, stories. Farm hands, normal everyday farmers, normal everyday folk disappearing, just disappearing. And kegs? There's no holes. There's no drill. There's no boreholes anywhere. Normally, when it's farmers, it's and kegs. Yeah. So it's definitely not. A, it's there's no boreholes anywhere. You'd know if you know if was, there was and kegs because they don't hide their holes. You know. But they're disappearing, which is strange. Now, the rumor is there's a new bandit group out there with this <clears> grandiose <throat> name. Yeah, what name is that? <laughs> Are you sure you want to hear it? Um, the Hands of Prosperity. Sounds like a cult name more than a <laughs> bandit group. We're not sure what they are. I've heard some complaints, you know, they appear not to, they appear <clears throat> not to like pillage and rob from those that are less fortunate than them. But, it, but, but we just don't know because you know, usually don't have to worry about this area. The Southeast, it tends to be not a lot of activity. It's, it's are they merry men? I, she says, I don't know. I haven't been out there. I don't know. We've heard from merchants passing through that they've been robbed by them. <coughs> so generally they leave the populace alone. They're robbing from the better off. At the same time, there's people disappearing. Yes. Which could or could not be related. Correct. Hence why we're sending you to all go and, and figure out what's going on. Should be very, rather simple. This should be, should be more straightforward than some of the other missions you've been on. Now that things have calmed down, we have time for this, these kind of incidents. Now as we're rebuilding our numbers. I hear we have some more new recruits coming in very soon. Things never calm down. <laughs> I'm still waiting to find out what one of them is. One of the, one, oh, the, what, one of the NPCs? Yeah, I know. I've been so busy, man. Make time. There's important things. There's important things. You want me to get the Battletech game set up for Saturday, or you want me to work on that character? Well, I don't care about the Battletech game. I'm not playing. <laughs> don't, don't get Balfour upset. You know, Who's Balfour? Oh. You sound like Alan now. I am sitting in the seat. Oh, okay. Oh the seat of power. <laughs> What's up, Billy? on you. Oh man, that's rough. That is rough. Does that say the right thing? That's wrong. It's not a classic DD reprint giveaway. I see I knew I forgot something. Man. Hit the wrong button now. No, no, it's not the wrong button. It says it doesn't say the right thing. And that's that's just, now you have to hit the wrong button. Uh, I just gotta I can't I just uh, do this. Somebody in the tower over here with a crossbow. Yep. 
Sure. Now it's work. There's a bum. So what do you do? Well, has there been any central area where they've been disappearing, or has it just been traveling southeast uh, about fifteen miles? Um, that area of farmland, so. off, off off the main roads or by the main roads. There are no main roads out there. It's all it's all tracks. It's all tertiary tracks. There's no main highways uh, roads out that way. Remember, as you go south, you you start getting closer and closer to Mistrine's lands. No one in their right mind is going to build roads. Anywhere to near, make, between, to make his like but, yeah, to, yes, between here and Mastrine's lands, so it's going to stay rural. It's going to stay just mud tracks. You know, are any any headhunter uh, friendly people out that way that we could check in with? Uh, no, but most if you show the headhunter symbol, <clears throat> most of the folk are going to be very amenable to you. Absolutely. Mattias, anyone who was robbed, um, did any of them like they felt like they were going to be abducted? No, they really have. According to the merchants that have, uh, have been robbed, they were not. No one was taken like ransom. No ransoms were had or anything like that. But that's just from those that we know of. So, but then again, they're not. You know, the persons that were robbed are not disappearing. People are disappearing in the thin air, and that's really disturbing. Why are they just disappearing in the thin air? It's true. That's a yeah. That's a serious issue. I mean, we're talking about fam like there's farms where there's no one there now. Matt said, my prediction, if this group is responsible for this, their new name will be the Agony of Defeat. Hey, Dave, good to see you. The Hand of Prosperity and the Agony of Defeat. Yes. You see that steer going down the hill. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the thrill of victory. Hands of Prosperity. Taryn! Everyone loves the new emote, Taryn. Oh, uh, here, here's a box of stuff. Box of stuff. A box of stuff. Oh my gosh, uh, dude! It looks like a freaking Roman like uh, slaughtering thing here. I'm oh my done. god! I'm not done yet. I, have... I can't show this. I can't show this stuff live stream. Good band. Give it, give it cage out there. Oh my god, that has religious overtones, so. dude. I, 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 are you, have you been feeling okay lately? Oh my god, no, actually, no, I'm on a rather dark side. Oh my god, at least they're not crosses. Where's the um, dude, where's the impaled? Oh, they're still over there. Oh my right god, there. man, <laughs> that's disturbing. With a little goblin. Oh, I love this one. This is awesome. Which one? This one. Oh yeah, that's made. That's uh, that's a leftover piece from the castle, the the big castle. Oh, that's a great piece. And then the right, you know, the painted together. I'm putting it on the table. The forgotten prisoner of Castle Mare. Yeah. Well, I figured that would be. Uh, it would sit next to the the big chapel. You know, the ruined chapel. Yeah. And where's it going to be? So it's in here. I'll just put it up front here. That's cool. Very nice, Bill. Awesome. As opposed to all the other, you know, this is stuff is great, man. I got, I got so much stuff to paint now. That's because we're getting bombarded from our sponsors with stuff, right? And the first piece of the uh, Infinite Dimensions is in there, the signboard. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's part of the, the town scatter. This is the Infinite Dimensions town scatter piece from, uh, yeah, brand new. That's awesome. Cool. Just wait till you get the new piece of terrain, Craigspone Hill. Craigspone? Are you serious? Like Corellia Craigspone? Yeah, so we always said the Craigspone is another name for an executioner, right? Oh, is that where the name comes from? I didn't know that. Very cool. So, um, Candace says, I wish I had more information, but then us headhunters, that's what we do. We investigate and then we take action and worry about the repercussions afterwards. Better to ask for give forgiveness than permission. Right. Or it's easier to get. That's a good thing about the normal headhunters. Headhunters don't really like take per taking prisoners. Our version of them don't anyway. No, it's just in the game. Just most of them don't. Well, because one well, of the leaders actually uh, is a uh, Saint Cuthbert. Yeah. 
Yeah. But they're called the Headhunters for a reason. I see we're on the same page. Ashley and Loki, good to see you. So, um, yeah, it's uh, so this is yeah, Adventures Wanted board. Yeah, it's the new piece out of the town. Thanks, uh, Lando. Town Scatter. Town Scatter from Infinite Dimensions. Got a lot more of that stuff coming in the next couple weeks. War memorials and. Said and tonight portrait workshop giveaway, man, first one of its kind. All kinds of stuff. So, uh. New York, good to see you. Now that I know, uh, now I know the name change. So if you look, uh, if you look on the uh, gifters, New York is uh, uh, second. New York GM, very, very kind of you. Because you know, uh, no, Patrick is uh, Patrick is Patrick, and who was New York GM? Three oh, um, games GM, games GM three oh nine. Yeah, yeah. She changed her name, so. Good to see you. So, um, I wish I had something else, but I know you're all capable, the eight of you. It's too bad you don't have your uh, big enforcer with you or your halfling stealthy. Whatever happened to that barbarian? The, the one, one who chases the pig? I haven't seen him. I think the pig ran out of town and he followed him. <laughs> <laughs> He's still chasing it. I think he's around the Meteor Jungle now. We'll ask Tim. <laughs> well, it's Classic Sam 306. That's it. Yes. Very cool. Really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Uh, so, uh, and we'll be back next Saturday night at 6 for another Saturday night special. It'll be a fun one. Some new people from new Mike players. Disney and Taron, Mike Taren, Disney, Bones, Holly Monster, Holly Monster, uh, Stiletto Assassin, Stella Luna. Yeah. All star cast. All star cast. Gonna be a great, great one next next Saturday night. You have your gear. You have uh, Lindara. You don't hear any rumors around town. It's been quiet since the last one. You've been, it's been really un, uh, quiet, and you're like it's it's strange. It's like calm before the storm kind of feel to it so you're, you're like a little frustrated in your investigations that you've done trying you know wean out from the nobility the lesser nobles that come in here all the time remember the sundered spear falar is an ex-adventurer tritharian worshipers get free board there um you know uh and uh she's one of those so um as well lindara said but you don't haven't heard any anything new uh, going on about, uh, you know, un underhandedness or, uh, you know, some illegal activity has been really quiet. All right. Going to attempt to, to uh, anyone going to do anything special before they depart? I'm assuming you're going to accept this. Yeah. Okay. Well, if it's, it's yeah, Searsha is regardless if the, if the order says it needs to be done, it needs to be done. Or can't say, or Medwin's like, e -e -e, it's closer to his place. Right. You're not a fan. Not a big fan. You're looking for Elementalist? Uh, actually, I was looking to. Oh, there you go. Oh, we're in a larger collection of broken miniatures up here, I see. Yeah, they're all plastics. Yeah. A lot of them came back from uh, uh, Gary Khan. Yeah, I try. I really did try. I tried to. Oh, Caesar got his a copy of uh, of his uh, of of the uh, kefir uh, print. Looks fantastic. Oh yeah. 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 For uh, for the giveaway for uh, what do you call it? Support of, of the fundraiser. All right. So I'm going to. I, I want you to um, put uh, put the, the miniatures over over here in the travels. Okay. All right. I'm going to put them over uh, over to this side start out and i'm assuming you're just going to go and uh, attempt to look and just try and find uh this issue what you know uh, why uh, well so yeah i mean the best bet is we're going to try to find some of the deserted hamlets and see what we can find there okay. evidence wise and then head towards the closest farm near there and she's she's they not, have she's any, not one. any sorry did i grab that what do you grab you grab you grabbed your uh, your sponsor Sorry. It's all right. <clears throat> so um, you come across after, I'm going to say after about three days 
of searching as you go wider and wider out. You hear you hear the rumor about this um, this band of bandits, and uh, you get mixed result. You get mixed. Your owner's a duelist. What's that? I'm, I'm, I'm no, he's a shadow man. Shadow man. Shadow man. Steve. Shadow man. Steve. I'm having a brain fart. Yeah. I couldn't remember. Where's my shadow man, Steve? And remember this. Uh, thank you all. We have a ton of, of specials already from earlier. Cheers. Really appreciate it. Yeah, awesome, Michelin. It'll be a great. It's going to be a great game next week too. The new recruits. It's going to be a whole, and we'll have some actual brand new people who've never played before in my game. So it'll be fun. Um, you come across two farms that are completely empty. There's no animals even. It's weird. They emptied it out. So we're gonna we're gonna spend some time searching the pens, the property. The outlying property. Look, look for even old tracks to see if we can see if somebody came in. If it was the direction that the livestock was let off. Did it look like they used wagons? Did they empty the larders out? There's no wagons. Uh, Horse, goats, oxes. No loading and unloading at all. Now you don't know how long it's been. If it's been a couple weeks or whatever, but you do note that. Um, and the best tracker you have are the two rangers at this point. I would think so. The two rangers say uh, large bipedal footprints, not f yeah tracks. Large bipedal tracks, like Overish. not that one one set, one set, one big set, and some larger sets, but not no not one set, one large set. One, yeah, and it's not. If you can't tell if it's it's weird. You can't tell if it's barefoot, shoed. It's just strange. Okay. Yeah. Really crazy. It could just be a hide sandal of some type. So it doesn't really. One matter. set of tracks has come through here, um, and just things near it dis have disappeared. There's no like, no one like is looting. That they're not being looted. So there's still stuff in there yeah I mean, like the pantries weren't empty no it was just no it's like the pipe piper came in and... yes it's like the pipe piper came in or something came in and yes it wasn't interested in that stuff hmm. i think bones now would say i'm doing this to them Do we do we see any tracks of the, of the the only the one large shoe? How about the smaller tracks of the of the family themselves, the farmer or the livestock? Do we see what direction they may have gone? They off? didn't go anywhere. They didn't leave. Do we not? We never decided that yet. No, you can decide. You you went up. You just went up last adventure. You can decide on your proficiency. You have short bow, long sword, dagger, two fisted fighting. Yep. Defensive training, no. Yeah, you can if you want to take defensive training, you can, sure. Lower. What what level is he? Fifth level Elven Cavalier. Oh he's still fifth, okay. Elven Cavalier to get him every other uh, every uh, other level. Uh, what about or you have to take that by third? What's that? Ancestral accord. Or you gotta take that. Yeah. He, I he, thought we had to take it by third. Yeah, he, he's not he's because that's a great one. That's just a free 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 prayer. Yeah. But, but it's too late for that one. Yep. Defensive training will lower all your toughness. Will What's give you... his dexterity? What's his dex? <clears throat> 17, 17 slash 97. The 16s oh, that's when... his goes up, oh. the So The 16s when you had that helm on, the bulwark helm. Correct. Yeah. He lose the one point. Yeah. So yeah. he'll be 18 next level. Yeah, I was just thinking if he, if he, if he was lower than that, then take improved your fisted fighting. Yeah, no need to. No need to. Unless Just, he's wearing that bulwark helm, then that would make it one point higher. Yeah, but it's a waste if he ever loses that helm and he's back to 18 and he doesn't need it. It's a waste. That's, that's true. Yeah. He's better off taking defensive training or or or, um, or, or toughness and get, a, a, get five more hit points. Very true. Yeah. Which is it? Toughness. Toughness. There you go. 
Look at that. Now you have 57 hit points. That's plus one point per level. That's a feat melded, mer, ah, melded into our proficiency system. You can't take you can't take that multiple times, but you can never get those taken away from you. Like con points, you can, you know, if you go your con goes down. All right, you have 57. Now is your base. Very nicely done. As you went up, a lot of characters went up last time. So this character has fourths and fifths in here now. So as you go about, you're coming across a farm where you hear pigs. You hear the noise of pigs coming about. We hear the noise of pigs. You hear the noise of pigs. You also, um, from travelers on the road, have been told that the base, you've come across two individuals uh, who did not want to talk to you very much, but said the base for these bandits is in a ruined temple slash church of St. Cuthbert. Okay. All right. The hands of prosperity. Worshippers of Zilchus. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read this? <laughs> I, think, I think Jay mentioned it last night on, the, on his hero god status, Michael Patton. They worship him. <laughs> you never know in this world. Yeah, Michael Baton is the hero god. Can you imagine? After, after he was killed, he ascended. He became a deity. No, I, I don't think that will ever happen. So, okay. Um, there you go. What do you do? Everyone sounds good now. That I got the sound issue all resolved, right? We're good on sound out there. Yeah. Want to make sure? Because you know the worst thing you can have is bad sound. There's a, there, uh, there's a building up ahead. There's a pig that looks like some kind of pig pen. There's someone out. Out there. So, you do? We will head that direction. Uh, we will, s it looks like a normal farm. So, we'll, Sirius says, let's stay in the open so they see us coming so they don't think that we're bandits. We don't want to frighten Laura Lee says, that's a great idea. Because you can never be too careful with you know simple country bumpkin folk she says you know and she's a full-blooded silver elf and saying that about the humans out here so I, I apologize for saying that knowing you're half bumpkin seriously simple country folk bumpkin. feed the world no, not us elves there's simple elves i've met a few <laughs> she chuckles Stories D and D, D, D just said, "I'll take bad sound of her puppets any day." I've heard these stories of this blue elf. Don't start with me. Will triggered me today on freaking uh, a Facebook post of uh, uh, posting about freaking vampire thrombo. That's all I need. Blue yeah. elf rolling around in white dragon blood. Or was it blue dragon blood? No, the white dragon blood. That's Walt's character. That had nothing. To or do was with it Torque? Didn't Torque roll around in blood? Or he just tattooed himself blue, right? No, that was that was that was Tristan. Tristan, yeah. He just tattooed himself blue. Oh. Please don't don't get me started. So as you come through that tonight, Tom. As you come through the woods, shorty. As you come through the woods, uh, you uh, you appear to see uh, what appears to be a, a hut, uh, some fields, and a pig pen. <clears throat> Is there a dust cloud around him when he walks? Uh, <laughs> sure. No, I've got it. We all got it. We all, we all got it. And the, is the farmer stay outside? There's a, there's, a, there's a farmer out there. with It's the pig farmer. He's out there looking at the pigs, yeah. Is he, does he see us approaching? I'm assuming he does. Uh, yeah, you're going to go through the woods here, and, and, but not sneakily? Yeah. When, when we get within hearing distance, she'll shout over to him. So, as you, uh, as you... Good all, sir, may we approach? He looks over at you and he goes, Ma, Pa, we got visitors. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Moth hog dinner served. <laughs> we got visitors. Send them around front, Sonny. We'll go around front. Our group's going to go around front? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll stay a comfortable distance. We don't want to <laughs> upset them. You're always, you guys are always paranoid about these buildings with normal people in them. Well, it's not paranoia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with like you know, rumors, rumors have spread to what's going on, and we don't want to startle them and not get valuable information because they're afraid. It's because they're the bandits causing all the problems. Yeah, we don't want to appear to be. So you see, look, they have very rich, for this area, very rich fields, as you can see. Some more Bill the Master Craft crafts that's, there. That's where the bodies go. Yeah. And uh, and uh, the you can turn those, the, 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 the two that come out. There's an older man and woman. So, yes. And the, and the woman goes, wow, a, a group, a whole group of heroic types coming to our little farm. And the, and the, 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 the old man goes, hot. And she smacks him. Jay's NPC. <laughs> abusive. Doesn't matter. That's not Gooby. Lurking's great. Lur Lurking's fine, man. Yeah, sure. we'll, we'll pull out her emblem from the, from the Narwhal Headhunters and say, May I approach? Can we ask you a few questions? And the woman says, Sure. Headhunters are always welcome here. Okay. There's Ma and Pa Kettle. Who says it? What are they cooking in that kettle? Is the question. Yes. Who are they cooking in the kettle? Heads. You, so you met you met Fletcher in the back. You did. Yes, he's our he's our youngest son. We uh we're in the area. We're heard of disturbances where people have gone missing, and we've come to try to find out what's going on and see if you've heard any rumors. Bill Nickers, rumors are true. Some of our neighbors. We've we've been we've been spared. The the melder, the melder took them. The melder. That's what they call it. It they don't he, she, it, I don't know. But uh my son our son Eugene protects us. Even though he's in a lot of he's been in a lot of trouble lately. Kind of trouble. He's been messing around with those, that group. You know, so he got mixed up with them. I'd love for him to break from them. What's his name? Eugene. Eugene. <laughs> you knew it in my podcast. Oh, he deserved That's is awesome. Any of this, is there any talk about any kind of people being um, robbed? Uh, the, the, they they leave they leave the people that feed them alone. They only rob they only rob those that deserve it. That's what I'm told. Like your son's but, involved in that robbing? No, no, no. They're, whatever it's going on, they're forcing him. Of course. Has anybody seen this Melder and gotten away? Probably, but I I don't know anyone. It's just the word. That's what they call it, the melder. I don't know why, but it, it hit a, a, a whatever it is about a couple miles away to the east of here a little while ago. No one sees it coming or going because no one's left. Well, someone had to be left, otherwise it was there wouldn't be story. Really? Hmm. Have to put two and two together there. <laughs> so who is this this group that your son is associating with? It's just some, some group of, of uh, bandits <coughs> or highwaymen or something. But they, they leave the good folk alone for the most part? They, live, they leave those that, you know, Keep them, keep them uh, fat. And 
So they leave us alone, as you can see. <clears throat> we have no, not a lot of need for extra. When would you expect to see them again? Well, we're only a, about a half mile from their headquarters. Hey, Gord, good to see you. What does Eugene look like? Ah, uh, and she they uh, she descri describes him. Uh, no teeth. No, no, he's um got red hair, wide face, kind of muscular. Yeah. Kind of looks like a carrot top. A little bit. On juice. He's got a big, <laughs> so he's juiced big with a big hammer. <laughs> Oh, Sean giving me, I got my first regular tonight. Thank you. I suppose all those specials everyone else got. That's good. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Kind of. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> He's got acne from the voice bigger than he used to be. The old man says, I don't know if there's anything worse that I could think of, of being killed or disappearing and no one ever knowing what happened to you. From the melder, the melding? Did, has the stories of the melder coincide with the arrival of the bandit group? Did they, did they start around the same time? Or did the bandit group come first? So the man looks at the woman and then looks back at you both and all of you and says, the Melder's recent. The group has been, the, this group has been here a little long, a, a, a longer. Longer. Uh -huh. We found some abandoned villages. We saw large footprints. Not but farms, farmlands, and yeah, no villages, no full villages. Right. Yeah. We saw large footprints coming in, but not leaving the village, correct? Yeah, there's like no one left. No, but I'm saying we never saw the large footprints leaving the village. Um, Lost them, but they were in there. Oh, okay. You saw found them in multiple places. Nothing is drug away. Nothing's carted off. Nothing is walked out. No big bonfire or anything like that. Nope. It's perplexing. Mm. Have, uh, is it safe to approach the bandit group? Have you communicated uh, with them or are they uh, attack first people? So he looks, he looks over at her. And she looks back and he looks over her again and her eyes get like that. Right. And then he looks back and says, I don't think they would appreciate headhunters approaching them. They don't like headhunters. Definitely not this group. <laughs> The hands of prosperity. Do do they does the group seem to protect the area as well? Or do they just take whatever food you give them and and So you you uh, make a make a wisdom roll. Make a wisdom roll. Uh, thirteen. You made it. You you from whatever answer you get, you think it means uh, they, they're, it's their own self-interest, and they, the, leaving these people around is good for them. They don't Megan like, but they won't. They don't protect them. It's this. This is the nicest farm you've seen so far, by far. Nothing. This place is gold and pristine compared to all the other ones. Even the ones that had people in them. This one is way nicer than all of them. Okay, yeah. Matt inquires about mm -hmm. the direction where the headquarters is. Does it look like a pretty main road, or is it off the? There are no path? main roads here. That's it's what all I'm saying. It's like mud off path. The beaten path, right? Yeah, and you about about a half mile northeast from there. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Always fun. Chase, like, I kid you not. I kid you not. Is there a, an abandoned farm or an empty farm close to here, between here and their their base? No. It's all further out. Any other farm? There's and any active farms between you and them, or you no. the closest? The closest. Good question. Very good question. Has anybody talked to you or has anyone mentioned to you, is there anything you do to prevent the melder from coming? Has anyone asked you to leave, told you to leave offerings? Nope. No. Just uh, note that... Uh... Like, well, we're going to look at the, the building and see, did, is there any any paint on the door? Dead chicken hanging upside down. No, that's a good. That's a great idea. Um, no, but you note that the it's like there's no. Oh, what would be the word? It, like every hole, a lot of the holes are plugged. Up, like it, it's very uh, whatever they've done. Good. The, the the bolts on the door is very secure. I mean, it's like someone has helped them note that uh wh what kind of defenses they should have uh, you know uh, for the for if this thing or whatever this is or whoever this is comes so they've slightly reinforced yes their, their, their home. yes something that wouldn't be normal to this area to, for them well to if you're cautious too if you're paranoid if there's humanoids running around it would be too right <clears throat> well, what I'm saying is, it, but you might could burn your building down. Does it look like something that would have been crafted and bought in? Like, say their their son was using money he gained from this to help reinforce the family. Possibly, property. possibly. Okay. So note note that you know none of the building you saw no damage in any of the of, of buildings or fencing or any of that stuff. Yeah, none of the front doors were just open. They weren't. Everyone, what the heck's going on? If you could get Eugene away from this group, that we would appreciate that. Well, that, that may be difficult if we can't interact with the group. Well, they're probably not going to be happy with you uh, being headhunters, uh, but, you know. There's there's a, our bandits, after all. There's a couple. Yes, we've always we've always known that if we see uh, ri uh, large black riders with the symbols of, of Lord Mistrine, we are to hide immediately. And always told that um, the headhunters take no prisoners. We do what's necessary to complete a mission. And the old, and the lady says, "Yes, sir. we understand. You have to justify what you do." But always, poor Eugene, always hide. <laughs> <laughs> try, never try to, to fight back. <laughs> Most likely, his men would leave peasants be if you don't. Wayne could see. What's that? Mistrine's guys would kill just for the fun of it. No, they're that bad. It's a neutral evil. Yeah, well. I mean, if they're bored, especially. Well, they're not chaotic evil, so. No, they're not. But like, if someone, if you're having a bad day, you take it out on the people who are around. Yeah. You you saw Rome. <laughs> yeah. That's what happens. You know? Like the Hun. I mean they're uh, they're here. Right? So. Alright, what do you do? Got a lot of information. Yeah. Not gonna be really helpful, but we got a lot of information. Oh, I got a lot of information. Let's go have fun storming the castle. Laura Lee says, well, if they're bandits, we got to deal with them anyway, right? Yep. Sounds like a bunch of humans, too. It sounds like enemy. it's going to be a piece of cake. It's never a piece of cake. <laughs>
seriously says it's not necessarily to kill them all. It may but be, it's just to kill them all. We, we need to know what we're up against before we storm the castle. Yeah. Okay. And who knows? Maybe we can negotiate with them. Sure. Maybe they know something. Okay. So what do you want to do? You want to uh, like uh, you want to attempt to uh, f- uh, find their territory and scout? I think that would be the at, best at night. Thing you do at night. Yeah, well, we have a lot of we got a lot of half elves. Okay, so. I'm fine with that. So this is what I want you to do, just to make it easy for me. Uh, hand, hand me back the, the the figures if you can. Take that. Um, take that. Uh, any place you see a fire lit, can you light them up for me? I'm gonna, you're going to do this. Head, the one thing about the headhunters, the headhunters are very good at scouting. So I'm going to allow you to do all this. I want you to, and uh, you're done with that. I'm just going to put these here for now. So I'm assuming you're going to have Matt and the two and the two Rangers go. Yeah. For the most part, because. Um, they're the stealthy ones. Yeah, they're the stealthy, stealthy ones outdoors. Yeah. The dwarves, obviously not. No, they're like stomping yeah. trash. Those, they're they're very low. Those fires. I got to get new batteries in them. As you can see, the campfire ones are very low. Yeah, they have a small battery. Yeah. Too. So, um, what I'm going to do is put, put, put point this out, Bill. If you can take this one and put this one over there, so it, you can see that ta- uh, the the mill tower over there. I'll right, turn it turn it that way a little bit. There you go. Okay. So what you have seen from this angle is the following, and you're gonna do this at night. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna make some rolls. Um, what's your what's your um, what's your hiding shadows uh, there as a ranger outdoor? Uh, Matt, I'm not worried about Matt. Matt's using a shadow 40. ability. Right. Forty. Matt's using a shadow ability, so I oh, no, know. Sorry, that's the, uh, what do you? Oh, horrible. You talking about his aura? Yeah. That can't be right. These were never updated because it still says 10 and 15%. What's your, what's your, what are you wearing? She'll switch, uh, she'll switch into her leather armor. Okay. Yeah. She'll take off her elven chain. Okay. But it, we don't, we don't that have may be with your elven chain. Huh? That may be with your elven chain on. Yeah. She'll switch to her leather armor. She'll okay. She'll have a bag of holding. She'll put her leather armor Okay. Right? All right. Cool. All right. So I'm going to put out some people. So what you see is uh, there's a, uh, a tower over there with one. One guy, and then there's a tower over on this side with a large bell. Okay, with with two, one guy, uh, you know, one bow, one crossbow. The group tends to hang out in two locations along this plain area here, and you see, a, a, usually at night, you see a bunch of them, bandits, obvious bandit types, right? Male and female, both. Okay. One, you only see ever one guard over on that uh, over on that area over there, and then there's a lot of activity. I'm not going to put anything out here because it's distance in this obviously ruined keep church or area. That's what you see. You do see, you know, some things that uh, lead you to believe that they're not all completely benevolent, right? You're not sure if someone's alive in that uh, that uh, crow's nest or gibbet or whatever it is. That's what you see. There's, you see, all, you know, about ten outside, and in and out of the other building, maybe another ten total. That's what that's what you locate. <laughs> Go kill them all. <laughs> so thoughts do we? Do we want to engage, or do we? Your call. I I am not telling you any of you what to do here. My shadow mage thief is going to start stealthily going in this direction. Well, I, well, you've already done all this. You've already scouted all this out. It's scouted. So I, I just want to know what your plan is of, of now. Of you've done all that. In fact, with you, with you, they can't see you at all, man. You, you know, with your shadow mage ability, 
going using you know using your uh your, you know your r's that you're in and out, especially at night you're in and out and you can see in the dark you have no problem so you, you easily scout this whole area yep. what do we hear then just normal chatter and talk you don't you do not go up up onto the plateau okay you're not i mean you know if you want to do that then you let me know on that but you scouted this whole area, and exactly what I have out there is what you see. Okay. I've seen a lot of movement in that building in and out. It's too far away for that building. Um, uh, you really uh, you know, did not go toward that and go into that because you, you know, at, uh, by yourself, that's a little, um, you know, but you, gotcha. you see a whole bunch out there. They're playing games or beating up at each other, all sorts of typical stuff going on. And he's got you right here. Cards. Do they appear to be drinking and? They t- yeah, they appear to be typical banditry stuff, you know, partying it up, drinking, you know, uh, living off the fruits of others. Yes. You hear something weird at midnight, the first uh, uh, the night. You hear someone, you hear someone in, inside the building say, uh, May another day of prosperity begin. Oh, the hands of prosperity, huh? You hear a male voice, and then you hear a female voice after that say, and then just as prosperous. (laughs) Yes, these are the hands of prosperity. What do you say you want to start advancing on this? Well, that's right. Let's wait till Wolf gets here, and then we'll talk about how we're going to do it, what we're going to do. Two giveaways tonight, portrait workshop. Uh, you get a, you get an entrance into the beta, and then the second one's two Reaper minis for all the cheers. Thank you so very much. All right. Well, are we going to try the negotiation route, or are we going the old faithful murder hobo style? <laughs> It's not a style. Sure it is. Style of fighting without fighting. What's your style? These are bandits. Yeah. I'm going to get in a boat and we're going to fight on that island while the boat floats Do away. Don't bother you? Yeah. Don't waste your time. Yeah, no, he says, don't, no, he says, uh, no, don't, don't waste yourself. Don't waste yourself, right. Yeah. Enter the dragon. Paul Saxon, he just died a lot. John Saxon. John Saxon, he just died a couple years ago. Shame, and Jim Kelly's going too. Bullshit, Mr. Handman. <laughs> You're right out of a comic right. book. That, when you first said that, that when I met you in the 80s, anyway. I didn't realize that's where you got it from. That's where I got it from. You're right, right out of a comic book. So, Mr. Hey. Culp, what's your thoughts here, sir? <laughs> I'm just going to go in and kill everything. <laughs> okay, well, if we're going to go that route. If you guys are going to go like a direct route, um, my mage is going to, he's going to beeline off and, and come over. Your shadow and, mage? Yeah, my shadow mage. I'm going to let you put you him wherever he you want after everyone else is placed. Okay. Because you can get, because you have enough. Because it's a new day, I'm assuming a new evening. You're gonna wait the next evening, and then you you can have the aura. three. You're gonna have three R's, and I'll let you place yourself wherever you want, not on the upper level, but down wherever you want. Okay. So where's the rest? Of, what's the rest of the group gonna do? You, that leaves you with the other the other seven. They obviously got lookouts. Right. So <coughs> they have a single lookout over here with a fire. Yes. I don't think he's as important. The double lookout with the bell is their their alarm system. So if there's guys to take out, my opinion would be them first. They're also the closest. They're also the closest. And they're in between us. Yeah, yeah we we'll only have the one, the one thief. Scott says, the dwarf says, what? 
I can stop. This guy uh, um, says, Where are we? Okay, we're 300 away from special. If you can get me close, I'll, I'll, hold, I'll take care of those two. I can hold, I'll use my whole person right out there. And you can deal with them as you want. Right, well, we have to get close. They don't have a silence? Can't you? No. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I do. I have a sound. Yeah, I do have a sound 15 foot radius. Keep it on yourself. Get me close. Stark, get me close. I'll do Throw that. Throw that on the bell. What's that? Throw that on the bell. That's a good idea, too. If the whole <clears> person doesn't work. Well, then, yeah, but we got to get close first. Got to get close first. So, dwarf's, dwarf's heavy. We got it. We got it. So. I could silence myself. That's or, not a good idea because then you can't cast spells. Well, anymore. I can't cast on a coin or right. whatever. That way I could toss it. I could toss it underneath the bell when we get closer. How long sounds that's one round per level? Yeah, it's not it's not not that long. Decisions, decisions. It's always a good thing to have some decisions. Try to figure out what's going. Two there. rounds per level. Two rounds per level. Huh? It's not so too bad. It's not not too long. This eight rounds. Eight rounds. Are you fifth, Clark? Fourth. Thanks, Doc. Four across the board. All right. So we're gonna have Scott, Searsha. Where's the rest of the group gonna be? I know you're gonna be over here, some over there somewhere. Yeah. So. so she's <clears> gonna. Since she's not worried about silence for the most part, she's pushing back to her own chain. Okay. All right. Okay. She goes in there, leather armor, she's going to get torn apart. They get torn apart in her chain mail, too. The <laughs> of little faith. Well, we're raiding. All right. Well, then. Yeah, so those those three will go there. Then uh, two because uh, Matt's going off on his own. The Shadow Mage Thief. Okay. Where's the other? Where are the other five going? Well, the the only way they can go is they got to go to the ramp. Hmm. In theory, yeah. We don't see. We didn't see any in our scouting. We didn't see any other than the main ramp. Correct. 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 Okay, so that's that's the direction you're going to take. Is you're going to have you're going to come up from this side. You're not even going to worry about the other side. You're not going to two pronged attack it, is what I'm asking. No, I don't think we can. We're two. We're only eight. We're we're spread way Okay. Again. It's it stinks back here. Oh, yeah. Fox smells his own hole. I uh, guess. Okay. Fair enough. Also, I'm going to see who smelt it. Dealt it. Wait, so the rest of the other five beyond uh, the, um, uh, the tutor coming up and trying to. Maybe it's like, yeah, well, once we get up there, I'll be more effective where I can see. All right. So the others are just going to start rushing the, rushing the slope. Is that what, is that the, because uh, you guys can't unmask hide, right? No. There's none of that. Okay. Yeah, so it'll be one of those. We have to give them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is definitely, I mean, there's a lot of them here, and they, yeah. I mean, they're rowdy and stuff. And you, yeah, they're, you know that the, this is the, the group of bandits. This is, I mean, you heard the, you heard the declaration. You, you weren't you were here at midnight. Uh, well, if there's going to be a you know, May another day of prosperity can, begin. And then a female voice said, uh, and they, they, they just prosperous. What if we, what if we at midnight. held their centuries? Didn't kill them and went to negotiate. Of course, this is a one nighter, so. Jimmy! Hey, it's stuff. gonna be a fight anyway, but we can try to negotiate first. Or at least talk. Or Thanks, Alcimane. Awesome, Thank it. you, too. Just didn't wipe them as. Walt just wants to kill them all. <laughs> Well, I want to know where the other coins and jewels are hidden before I kill them. Well, 
That's where you save one. You put his feet in the fire. There's two out there. You once they're, they're held, you put their feet in the fire. Eat Desmond's pliers. Laura, uh, so Laura Lee says, "Remember the creed of Blade Storm." She pulls out her two long swords. Those without their heads can't tell what happened to them. <laughs> that that seems rather unelderish. <laughs> <laughs> she has to care about these humans. They're all humans. Does she care? They're bandits, she says. They're bandits and humans. We're headhunters. We are. Are you from Celine? She says we are headhunters. Are you a knight of Luna? <laughs> no, she's a she's a nor, she she's always wanted to be a normal headhunter, and now she is. She's very angry. That's an animal character. <laughs> That's an animal character. <laughs> Put her in a room with there toddlers and see what happens. No, no, no. no. Ring around the rosy. <laughs> No, it's, you're all going to die a horrible Poor, uh, Did you already take his money know, she and, and his nose was repaired? Yeah, call from the pig so, yeah. farmer and it's somebody right. killed her. If their son will find out that she went back and stabbed him. He was tending the pigs. She's learned. She's learned. I mean, come on. We went through that cult of the reptile god. She's, she's part Marquesa. Went through that cult of the reptile god and look at all those people that were overtaken. So. Lemmings. This is why Narwhal is free and still around because you don't you don't mess around. The gym. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh yeah, that's right, Amy. You played this character. Wow, I forgot about that. That was that was Virtual Crack Con one or two. Yeah, you played Loroli that one time. That was Virtual Crack Con one. Wow. You played her. Yep. She's 4 4 now. She hasn't gone up that much. All right. They've, they've had some bad things happen to them the last couple of ventures. Yeah, this, this group is. This group's gotten. Their ass has kicked a lot. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you're going to have these two go up ahead. You're going to cast Silence. He's going he's gonna to have a hole of your cloak. Right in the dark, he's going to get close enough. That I'm going to put this group at where you are on the map just to make it easier. Okay. What are you going to do with these two once they're held? You haven't brought anyone to deal with them. We're going to tie them up. Khan says, okay. I'm fine with that, he says. We're going to hog tie them all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> she says, I, I'm, only, I'm only half elven. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Patrick. Hopping that second hype train up. Bandits don't necessarily mean evil. Sure, you're right. That's absolutely true. That's right, Tim Enoch. You played Lendara too. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, people who play these characters. Very cool. All right, so he gets up close, as close as he can. She, uh, what are you going to do uh, if you break off from there? What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to continue around. That was a year and a half ago. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You're going to continue around where? She's going to oh, go up the hill. All right. So as you, as the minute you break off, he's going to cast a spell because he, because he, he knows he's not silent anymore. Right. Hola, salam alaikum. Whole person. At minus one on two targets. He he's like he remembers. It better work. Well. And Patrick just got us a special. Yep. Another special. Um so so that, that, that. All right. You're climbing up. Mm -hmm. You got make a deck swell going up the screen area. Eleven. Okay. The rest of the group, uh, you heard the spell. What do you do? Start running. Full movement rates. And die. Where do you move? You got a special here. See who it goes to. Maximilian, nine, right? Yep. Start our rebel yell. 
as we're going up. <laughs> <laughs> Laurel Lee, 12. Three rounds earlier, she casts her dragon hide on herself. Makes her armor class now negative one. I don't have any cool spells like that. Are you talking? Are you talking? Hick a little bit there too now. Let's see what we got here. What's the movement rate? My gosh, twelve. Medwin. Medwin, he's uh, he's staying with the movie nine. Aristide. Nine. Okay. So yeah, I've got just a regular uh, hero. Cool. Who's it? Um, you say for whom? And we got a special as well. He did that. All right. Well, I'm giving the special that Patrick did to Matt so that all PCs have two. Excellent. Thank you. Walt gets the regular. Walt gets the Okay, Lindara, because he played Lindara. Thank you. It's an easy one. I hear that even. <laughs> I'll get these. Oh, I didn't know that. You use these characters for. I used these characters during Growlcon 1. Remember Brian canceled and I had to rush a game? Oh, that's right. Yeah. So uh, these are for Saturday, everyone. We got some good uh, Battletech stuff. Giveaways for Saturday morning's game. All right. No movement up top. New rounds. What are you doing? Matt. Matt, what are you doing? <clears throat> One shows nothing. Does he see or hear anything at this point right here? Is he still seeing the activity or can he, can he hear it? Yeah, they're just going about their business. Does that look better, Walt, on the camera? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's got more of you. Thank you. I was on the other side. I didn't see another special from Taborius Knight. Oh, wow. And he got, he pumped us up there. That and uh, can go to anyone, including PCs here, and one. So look at that. Laurel Lee gets a special. So there we go. Jay, he's going to begin to climb up here, but he wants to try to stay Thanks. hidden. Thank you, Deborius. What's that? He wants to try to stay hidden, but he's go. going to try to sneak up here. So he's going to climb. Climb walls percent. Okay. Okay. All righty. Sirsha. She's going to go up and, uh, are they both held? Neither of them are moving. Okay. But you're like, you see no ladder up there, but you see sconce. His boots are striding and springing. Oh. He got them like last adventure. <clears throat> he's, uh, he's appears to be tied. So you're going to run up there and tie the other one up? Okay. Lindara. Thank you all for the wonderful support. Second hype train of the night. Thank you so very much. Lindara. What did she see up ahead? Just oh, you see a whole group uh, around the campfire? Well, no, I meant the battlements up top. The uh, they're just, uh, they're not lit or anything. They're just a defensive position. If something was to assault, if they were alarmed, uh, there's, there's no one there. Okay. <laughs> you can turn that one off, Tom. It's obvious uh, I need to get new batteries for those. Thank you all so very much. Okay. So we keep it rolling here. How far can we go past? Uh, I'm going, uh, you can go 10 inches straight up. You're going to lose just a little bit of movement getting over top of that. How's that sound? Fair enough? Minus two movement. There you go, Tom. Same. If you can read my writing. Yeah. She, oh, yeah. Writing. She's not letting you go. She. Yeah. She's going to stay right with you. She's so the last thing she wants to do is um. Yes. Yeah. That's my. That's my thought. She would not want. She would not want you to uh, um, go ahead by yourself. Remember, it's dark. So. All right. The whole rest of the group. Everyone else good with that movement right there? Yeah. Someone in the group notices you running forward finally because you're making noise, right? Is anybody alive in the cage now? 
Um, there is someone alive in the cage. Oh, good. We can't see metal on the cage. What? That's, now that's evil. <laughs> now that's evil. Thank you for the fuck. Dude, that's wrong. So there is someone in there who's like, help me, Spock. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Help me. Help me, Spock. Water. Water. Need water, Gunga Din. Gunga Din. No, come on. Oh my god, it's a whole movie. Peck. It's a whole movie. Water. Out of the way, Peck. <laughs> so a- as that happens, you. Mad f- Martigan? Yeah. But someone's in there asking wait, for just, water. Just wait till the show starts. That's going to be awesome. Uh, they see you and they're like, uh, you're yelling, intruders. What the heck happened to our guards? Uh, and, and they, there's a lot of confusion going on. People are picking up stuff. So none of them really get to move this around as there's confusion going on. And, uh, you know, serious confusion at this point. How you all just went right by the guards. So you all get there and there's no other actions. You're, uh, the, um, so you advanced up this round. He did because he did striding, springing. He could he could immediately do an action. He could immediately do an action. So, thank you all for the second hype train of the night. Really appreciate it. Wow, you could spring up that high. Thirty feet. Absolutely. Boots of striding, and springing are awesome. Initiative. Go, uh, Tom. Start off. No hero points used yet. Five. You got it. One. We'll start with you. Where are you going? Matt Shot Lane. I tell you, resin printing is so he, much better. Well, basically, than, what he's doing, is, Jay, than <clears throat> filament printing. He's just yeah. trying to observe as a backup just for the when they approach the them. Okay. So he's just trying. You're to not going to go out. up and try and look in. No, he's just kind of hanging loose, but he but. The, the biggest thing is he's trying to remain. I happy. will tell you this: from the shadows, there's a balcony, and there's people on the balcony now that have seen concerns. Yeah, I'm not going to put them out, but they're they're on the balcony. Not me, because they see this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Lindara. So okay, so as you run forward, and, and, you, don't, you don't want to attempt any diplomacy, huh? Well, Laura Lee, uh, so you're just going to run up to fight? Yeah. So Laura Lee is not going to let you get, uh, leave you alone. She comes up as far as she, you do. Uh, and now Laura Lee probably has her head on her symbols on, so they can be seen. I don't think you do, right, Lindara? No. But Laura Lee does. And they're the first one she sees in the flickering of the firelight. And when they see that, they go, Headhunters! And they, they all start panicking, and, and, the, and they start saying, They don't take prisoners! Fight to the death! Sometimes your reputation is bad. <laughs> yeah, especially when it precedes you. Mmm. Mmm. There's still confusion going on, uh, um, and, and some of them have backed up. Uh, and so a, a four of four have engaged the, the two of each of you that have run that full movement rate. The rest of the group are going to move forward or full? Yes, Medwin? Uh, Medwin is going to move around to the to the right. This uh, way? Towards that rubble. This way? To the right, my right. Uh, over here? Yeah. Right. You're gonna, so you're going to just ignore the guy. As you're in there, he's like, tries to grab you. Help, water. Please, we'll be back for you. Maybe. You guys are cruel. Guys are cruel. Cool. Cool. He doesn't, he doesn't yeah. particularly care. Oh my care. gosh. You guys are mean. Sorry. Helping sorry. you doesn't would benefit me, really. <laughs> Great. Me fill your cage with wood and burn you to the red god. Who's the red god? I don't know. It just sounds good. Since he's all decked out in red. He's a fire elementalist, you know. Should be a red god, right? We have a fire elementalist next Saturday night. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Who's, uh, what, uh, Holly? Nope. Holly's playing yeah. a special priest of Soul North Lander. Oh, cool. Yeah, I was chatting. Name Melody. I was I was chatting with her back and forth last weekend. Oh, good. And she's like, I'm not sure what I want to do. And I'm not sure about them. I'm like, don't worry about the Yeah. Well, you just, you got to show up and throw dice. And yeah. Just, 
have a personality for your character. No problem, Mike. No problem. I come in when I can. Oh, of course, Mike. I always, you know, it's like when I'm in the car all day. It's uh, so you're tying this round, right? It's enter it's entertaining for me. You're tying up this round. He he leaped down. So your group has run up. Um, no one has come out yet, and there hears to be. You hear panic in here. You hear yeah, check headhunters. Out. Headhunters are here. Mike's Mike's got a ton of new figures up in his Etsy. Yeah, I saw. So if uh, can can he post links? Mike, if you want to put look, link, yeah, Mike, put you can put your Etsy link put in. Put your or, Etsy link in. Put your Etsy link in, Mike. Got, and and he's got, I mean, pretty good prices on pro painted miniatures yep. by Mike. So put your Etsy in. There's some cool ones in there. Very cool. I don't know if he put the noble lady in today, but that one was really nice. Oh, the one he just finished. Yeah, yeah. I like I like the color scheme he did with the the blue, awesome. blue and pink hues. All right. So, uh, what do you do? Uh, Thanks, do Taryn. You do? Anyway. Yeah, she's quick on the gun. She's like a six-year gunslinger. You need to be. She needs. She's she's doing it. She's doing it. She's cranking it up. You know. All right. So there's there's no like somebody buy one for Mike tonight. Do him a favor. There's no organization. Do us a favor. <laughs> there's no organization here. It, uh, they, they appear to be panicked when they hear the name Headhunters. Oh, the word headhunters and uh, and so to engage here, to engage there. Pew pew. And before we get back, and that's where we are. So give me a minute again, Tom. The zombie dragon he's got out there is really good. Yeah. Six. Power Tina. No, not too good. So Linda, are you going to kill? Yes. <laughs> okay. And Dad's just like Dan the torpedoes. On pay style. As they're fighting you, they go, our prosperity will protect us. <laughs> it's just a look on his face. Go. Prosperity will be the death of you. I'm a class five. I'm a class five, fifth level. Uh, four misses. <laughs> and a two misses. Good start. At least they're not fumbles. <sighs> Thoroughly, um, Ray has fought this style, but this is the perfect opportunity. Longsword, longsword, in honor of Blade Storm. Plus two primary, minus three secondary. Sounds very familiar. <laughs> well, she, she got the Elven bonus, so though. She's one better than me. That yeah, um, so because you remember, monkey grips minus two. Yeah, I'm. I'm. monkey I'm, grip longsword in the second hand. Plus one, plus two, minus three, zero. Yeah, but her dex is seventeen, so that's another minus two. Uh, I'm, I'm sixteen dex. That's why. Yeah. Oh wait a minute, masterwork longsword is one off the secondary hand because you got plus one in primary and elf bonus. Minus two, minus four. Minus only two then, right? Minus two. Six, 17 decks. Did we say elves get the plus one hit in the secondary hand with longsword still? Does it really matter? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, yeah. Everyone loves that, man. Uh, yeah, the wrong button emote. He's, he's got a couple different color hair. He's got a, 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 like a, a green armored one, a blue armored one. Uh, but I think he's got a blonde, a gray, and a black. Well, she hit in her secondary oh. hand. Oh, max damage! Yeah, that was that that was last year's. That's not available anymore. She did eight max damage secondary hand. <clears throat> okay. Our favorite Cal Elven Cavalier, Maximilian. Come over here. Yeah, you're gonna run over to that group. Yeah. Okay. Are you yelling like a crazy person, or are you just like, yeah? yeah. They're all elves. Why are the elves here killing us? Yeah, yeah, they're elves and dwarves. It's kind of funny when you think about it. They're headhunters, but they're elven and, you know, there's, there's a bunch of elves and dwarves here. There's a gnome, a halfling, uh, and the full group, uh, dwarves and elves. There's a couple of humans. A couple. Lindara's human. It's true. Yeah. Kiffel, Bart's, 
Bard. Half Elf can Bard, right? Bard, that's, the only, yeah, half that's, the only, that's the only dual. It's the only class that. Yeah, it's an exception to the old uh, multi uh, dual classing deal. Once again, remember that's just an, that's such an exception to the rules. The Bard back then, it's hard to explain it. To someone who's like, well, that sounds like a prestige class. Well, well it, kind of, it kind of was. It kind of was. It, it, it just, yeah. Not many people did them because it takes a long time. Our time. Go up with Max. Get around with Max. Scott's. Man, he goes, oh, man, I love these. I love them. So, up top here. See a guy with a bow in position in the shadows. Aiming down at uh, some of you that are engaging this round from that group. Up here. Can we see this at all on camera? I don't think we can. Elementalists are the greatest group ever. You know, earth, wind, and fire. <laughs> that's it. Next first, we have to add say they have to be called the elementalists, earth, wind, and fire. Oh, yeah. Okay. Matt. <coughs> what do you do? attempt to breach this wall. So you're going to attempt to climb in? Yep. Yes. Yes. That's where the, the yes. great worm is waiting. Okay, I'm going to show you what you see. Did everyone, everyone else went, correct? Yep. All right. Yeah, I'm tying up, and Medwin is. I'm going to show you what you see, and you're going to be like, "What?" Give me one sec. So, so we're going to kind of have over. to. We're going to have to. Um, Peeks over, and this is what he sees. You're we're going to have to um, definitely uh, re re readjust cameras here. Give me. A, we we'll have to readjust cameras. I'm going to put this one to here so we can see what's going on inside. All right. Yeah. And this one will bring it up. Yeah. Well, you're off. You're off. You're off. You're off. That's good. I think that's pretty good. You don't get the guy on uh, top of the bow. And then that one there. Yeah, that's good. Okay. How's, how's that look over there? Well, look at this one. I think it's should, should we raise this one up a little bit, Jay? You can raise it up. Yeah, yeah you want to raise it up a little bit just so we can guarding, guarding, guarding. And you got these. Got Eugene up there. What? What are you talking about? Eugene, give up and go home. The red. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. There's a lot of redheads here. Jay, you might want to just adjust that to where you feel it should All be. All right, there we go. So... See a whole bunch of them inside. All right, that's good. That's good there. Is that okay? That's good. Yeah, but it's a little fuzzy. Hold on. It could be because of, take the take the light and turn turn out the, turn it out off. I, I think that's yeah, no turn it off. I think what that's doing is I think that is um. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. That was that was affecting the the camera. That was affecting the camera. Yeah. There. Okay. So inside here, you see two guys like they look like executioners and three guarding. Yeah, and you see a person up there. He's shooting down. I get shots of them. And you see this dude barely clothed with some kind of weapon in his hand. The only see you see is Matt. And in the, in the light of the, of the fire, you see he's got this red hair. It looks like carrot top hair and all buff. Tattoos all over him. Mm -hmm. Tattoos are some sort of deity of commerce. John's edges. Mm hmm He's got dollar signs. <laughs> it's the reincarnation of uh, <laughs> Michael Baton's illegitimate child. Ah, yeah, so he's, uh, one of them. Michael and he's Baton's talking. He's, redheads, redheads. he's blessing everyone, saying, "Go out, go forth, and out, and slam and destroy and purge these headhunters 
who are, are trying to take our prosperity away from us. So let it be written. So let it be, so let it be done. These 15, no, 10, 10 commandments. <laughs> what was so that? Was Ramsey's? Was that History of the World or was that? It's a joke at the beginning of History of the World. That was, was it. It drops it, 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 it drops it. five of them. So that's what you see I in here. I remember it was Holy Moses. Or... Now, I need you to make a dex roll. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Max. Uh, Matt, I'm making you make a dex roll. Because you yeah, actually rolled very badly on your when you climbed over on your high chair. But challenge. he wasn't actually climbing over. He was just kind of giving the... Oh, answer. I thought you said you were climbing in. No, no, no. He was, oh, he was, he was okay. looking over. He was okay. looking over. He was climbing right. up to just no look problem. over. Let me do the attacks on Lindara. Two attacks on Lindara. Critical hit. Of course. Nice. Miss. You can undo that. You can undo it. I don't have any specials. I only got one regular. Lindara, right off the bat, a crit in the first attack. Lindara's down to one. You do get hit normally. Lindara will take the first damage of the party as she runs up here and takes, wow, max 10. Two attacks on Lorley. a cushion for stuff, man. Lorley at two and both missed. The guy up top shoots, and this is, it, it's tough for him to judge who the best, uh, the softest target is there. So um, I'm going to randomize it. He's definitely not going after the Elven Cavalier. Is it just the Elven Cavalier? And who else is up there? Aristotle. Oh, he goes after the dwarf. Shoots at the dwarf. Critical hit. Wow. Second one. And it hit 18. Oh, my gosh. Two bow hits. Wow. I'm assuming you undid it. That'll puncture yeah. uh, an organ. Seven. Down 25. Wow. Some Tim crits right off the bat. So uh, that's what you, um, you, you, you uh, that's what happens. There's all engagements out there. They t seem to be getting rivaled, uh, rallied up. And you, uh, you see that this guy in here um, casts some sort of spell on the group up top. Okay. Holy prayer, bless. He says, your right hand says, go out and be brave. Cast a spell. There's a woman next to him. See that female? She says, the left hand will protect you as well. They are the hands of prosperity. Yeah, well, maybe. They're loons. <laughs> <laughs> she casts a spell on herself. Yeah, Okay. You're out. Got time. Gotta have some looniness here. Barely clothed and some kind of weapon in his hand. Yes. Great. Should be concerned. Four. Because he changed dice. On Lindara. Let's see if I can keep the crits going. Miss. Miss on Laurel Lee. Miss. That's close. I'm a class of neg. Oh, she got neg dragon high, negative one. He's got her second level. Miss. On. Do you have your bulwark helm? You're wearing that right now? You're wearing the bulwark helm? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just making sure. Because you're not using your bow. So you got the. Yeah, okay. All right. So you're on class zero. No, you're fighting two fists. You're on class one. Miss, miss. Aristide. Wow, dice went cold. Well, that could that could hit Aristide. It's 117. They don't get the effect of the spell inside. Ar oh, armor class is one, Aristide. That's going to be awfully close. Hits. No, 17. Misses. All missed. Everything else is delayed inside. So uh, we'll start with uh, Go ahead, Lindara. Fighting some bandits. Oh, the hands of prosperity. That's a 19 total and a fumble. You have uh, your sheets. Fumble. Oh, yeah. 97. Yeah, I got it. Got it right here. Go. 97 fumble? I oh, know. I'll, I'll undo it. That's right. I forgot. You're going to undo it? Yeah. Probably a smart move. You're out of, you're out of specials now already, Lindara. 
Alright, but I did hit once. Give me damage. On, on, on the... Oh, nine. Nine. You didn't hit last round. Nope. Lorley, longsword, longsword. She says, she says to them all, just run away and I won't kill you or none of us will kill you. We don't really care about you. And they don't. No. Do it. Longsword in each hand is awesome. 14. What? <laughs> put the one, put one of them down, please. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. What? Oh, I knocked her. Yeah. Good job. Bless you. Go ahead uh, there, um, our, our Elven Cavalier. Fifth level. He's three every two now. Mm -hmm. Four, you get four attacks. Longsword dagger, longsword dagger. Go for it. Max, longsword dagger, longsword dagger. Four. Miss. Nine. Minus one. Miss eight. That's a that's a that's a thirteen. You may have hit oh one time. God. Class five. You hit once. One day plus two. Well, I was bad. Real bad. <laughs> Four. That was terrible. That was terrible. You were terrible. First time. Plus three, plus twelve. Fourth level fighter. Fourth level. Hit. No, missed by one. You need thirteen. Fifth level. Oh, quest five. Yeah. Not fifth level yet. Yep. Miss. Melvin. All you do is burn stuff. Right now, he's yeah. He's got to get closer to be able to be really. Should you stand back there? Yeah, but he's he's looking up and he sees that archer up there and he's like, man, I ain't going this way. The guy in the cage is like, don't be a douchebag. Water. I hit him with first, first flame. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Well, we draw the <laughs> um, oh, God. I, I even abuse myself. Scott's. He, uh, um, he's like, this is ridiculous. Um, move Scott's into the middle of the whole group there. The, just... Nine inches. No, he's up to you. Oh, he moves oh, no. He's going to push the training spring. He moves 15. Put him smack dab in the middle behind behind the Elven Cavalier. Scott's. Uh, oh, he's a great 15 guy. inches. Boost the training spring. Yeah, so next round he can uh, he can cast bless. And spell extension, too. There's four. <laughs> Twelve. M Matt, you're looking in still. And he's still seeing the same. Yes. Obviously, a spell was cast of some sort by the right hand of prosperity. <laughs> I'm going to try to sneak and start <coughs> around the wall here. Okay. To the opening where those guys may come out. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. Everyone went, correct? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Uh, I have delays. Guy up top shoots at Sconce. So i class is not very good. Five. He got hit once. And he took five. Okay. It's down to 43. So then you hear him inside there, uh, uh, Matt. He says, uh, to the effect, if if we sit, if we are successful in this venture, we will all be much more prosperous from all their gear, because we know headhunters are horrible hoarders." Damn, that was only true. <laughs> And they're like, yeah! And they all charge out, these three. They all have a prayer spell on them. You move forward this round. That's as far as they get. They all bump into each other. 
right? And you so hear, that coat. You hear Alpha. You hear her, Alpha Sika. Stay. The two guys look like executioners, even though they're Samoan. Names. I forget the executioners' names. The wrestlers. Tag team. Oh, oh. The Samoans. The Samoans. Yeah. I don't remember the executioners. Both, both coached by who? Oh. Going back to the 70s and 80s of wrestling. Not Randy Papo's old man. No. I'd give a hint. Cindy, yeah, La- Cindy Lauper. Oh, uh, uh, Captain Alabama. Yeah. With the rubber bands in his face. Yeah. Safety pins. His beard. Okay. <clears throat> they run out. That's around. Guys, that forehead was a mess from all the years of him. Cut himself with a razor blade to bleed. Give me a minute. Imagine that. Go, Walt. One. Two. I'm trying, checking out. Checking these two dice out. fish. What's that? Checking the dice out. Here we go. Thank you, Patrick. Two different ones. On Lindara. We still only get one attack. Miss. Critical hit. You get your third critical in 10 minutes. Third. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is, that's not good. Uh, primary, weapon arm struck drop weapon. So you take double damage, your primary arm weapon is down. Okay? You should drop that and uh, you take um, 15 from a critical hit. Oh, you've done a 30, you and Dara. One attack on uh, Laurel Lee, as there's one left there. Two attacks on the Elven Cavalier, a fumble. Two attacks on Aristide, um, one hit. All right, so let me do the fumble first. Fumble, 80. He drops his weapon. One, of, So one of them, will, only one can attack you next round, and that was the first attack guy. And then damage on Aristide of four. Okay, from a hit, you're down to 21. Bow guy up top shoots at Sconce again. Misses twice. Uh, they all move forward, and I'm going to let you, if you want to do something, uh, go, uh, as they're departing here. So I'm not going to move them. So after you act, Matt, then I'm going to move them. So I haven't acted anyone inside here, but um, I have, okay. I have these three, all three are going forward to, toward the group. So what are you going to do? All right, well, the last one out, I'm going to be right on him and attempt to backstab. All right, so you're going to backstab the last guy out. So I'm going to move the others. I'm going to move the others as they try and overwhelm uh, overwhelm the dwarves and stuff and as Scott is uh, now assisting here. All right, so you're going to attempt to backstab this one here. Mm-hmm. All right. <clears throat> you were hidden. Let me see what we got here. Uh, the Shadow Mage Thief. Primary plus five to hit. Secondary plus three to hit in the shadows. Roman Crest is seven. Go ahead. These nuts. What's up, Josh? I want to say goodbye to Josh. He's going away on a trip. Uh, somewhere good? I'm not sure. I didn't ask him. Well, I, I, he probably told me. Josh had the idea that we should catalog every one of our spells in a database. <laughs> it is a great idea. Yes, it is. But, <laughs> but the, amount of, the amount of time and work it would be. <clears throat> I said it's a full-time job for a year. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it very well could be. Yeah. Go ahead, Tom. But, you know, we had to spell stuff. Well, plus five in your first one. Oh, no. These are guys are minus one because of the prayer. Plus four. Yep. Plus four. Go ahead. And the next one's only plus two. <laughs> well, your primary. You're just, I'm just taking one. Dice one. one at a time. Go for it. That hits. Secondary. That misses. Longsword. Two die eight plus two instead. Of, no. Two die eight plus zero now because of the prayer. 10. He's like, ah, but he's not dead. 
He's severely damaged, but not dead. Yeah. Oh, oh! He looks angry. He went first. We go over to, uh, we'll go to Aristide. Aristide, you did four last round, right? Yeah, yeah. I missed. You missed. Who did four points last round? I missed. Whew. Okay. Someone did four points up there. Was it the Elden Cavalier? No, you did more than that, didn't you? Okay, go ahead. Uh, go ahead, Elven Cavalier. Oh, you hit once out of uh, roll, roll your two attacks this round. Josh probably uh, went right back into Lurk. He's nuts. Come on. That's a hit. Just barely. That's One hit. Two guys are rolling bad. One day plus two. No, the prayer's on them. One day plus three. Nine more. You can drop one on, on the Elven Cavalier. Sconce, right there. He's close enough to swing, but instead casts. Oh, man. There was two on Aristide and. Max. Now there's three. There's three on each of them. There's three on each of them. You see? Because it normally came through. All right, so. Yeah. Now, Scott's was not engaged. He was back a little bit. Leap him to the one when he sees uh, when he sees Matt attack. Leap him. Leap him to that one, and he attacks. That guy doesn't go down. So he's there. Yeah. That's what he does. 20. 30. You got to use that word. 17 plus 3. Yep. Oh, actually, only plus 2 because that one was subject to the prayer. 19. Warhammer damage. 2 to 7, right? Yep. 5 more. You can drop them. Lindara. She'll pull out the summoner. Oh, okay. The non proficient plus 3 summoner. So you'll be two. You'll be two, then two, then two, then no, two, then three, two, then three. Yeah, no, 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 two, 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 two. Second hand's not specialized anyway. Two, 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 two. Good. Yeah, you're five every two. So it's minus what two? I, I, uh, so I had it written down here. You're uh, only plus uh, with the plus three similar. Yeah. Plus one to hit. Plus three damage. Plus three damage. Secondary hand is still the same. Plus four is zero. Right? Yep. Plus three similar is the second. That's a good thing to pull out. I mean, this is not proficient with it. Plus one is 15. Hits. And a 12. 12 fifth level fighter. Hits. Probably you guys are hitting. Plus three. Three and eight is 11. Drop. Thoroughly says, stop. Stop fighting. Run. 18 and 16. She's like, I like stop this. Stop fighting or die. Drop them outright. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Medwin. Medwin. They're in the negatives, by the way. Medwin so. throws a water skin to the guy in the... In the he's got to catch it then, right? I hope he's got good dexterity. If he puts it ends out. And he activates his he activates okay. his staff. Alright. Uh does mirror image. Okay. Smart move. Normal one to four images as extra. Alright, so there's four of you now. Staff is what, eighth? Yes. So it's sixteen minutes. Okay. Mirror images you have four images of yourself. Very good. Medwin, the uh, your image of four images. Okay, good. Did he catch it? I'm going to say he did. Searsha, good. Searsha just run, uh, 12. Well, 10. Yeah, you got to go over that and yeah. stuff. I said it minus. Did anyone not go? I 
like a base there, right? Take him out of the dungeon. Okay. So he shoots down at you two, and that's it. So you don't see where these are. Well, I'll just leave them out here. Why not? They go back. They go back. Their back's back here from now on. Okay. Hot Song Gretel. Alpha and Sika. Those two are up top. Sika. Overseeing. Don't you remember the Samoans? Yeah. <clears throat> I still remember. Matt. Guy sh shoots down at you twice. Oh, man. You're lucky. A three and a four buff missed. Rounds over. Unless they do some something defensive inside, which you may not know about, so let me see if that happens. Okay. I see you laughing over there, Bill. Yep, some defensives. Okay. All right, new round. Well, you lost, lost. Bill. I turned it loose. Five. Four. We're going to start with those engaged in combat. So that's uh, that's only two right now, right? Oh, Lindar's got some. We'll start with Lindar. Got a new target. Let's go. Oh, can't roll off on one hit. My team, one hit. Let's do it. Four. New target. Elven Cavalier, four attacks. No, you killed one. Two attacks, new target. Roll it up, Elven Cavalier. I'm assuming you're going to attack the one that's not under the prayer. Roll. Miss. Horrible misses. Aristide. You've not hit yet, right? No. Uh, the Fighter Maester. What's going on? Uh, that total is 13. That hits. That's exactly what you need. I'm assuming you're not attacking the prayer one, the one that just came out, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go for it. Plus 7. 12. Still up. <coughs> Matt. <coughs> you going to use your shadow aura? Yeah. And do what? I'm going to enter. Yes! I love it. He goes in. Hide in shadows. 36 plus 25% with the aura plus 5. Okay. Where are you going? Tom with the brazen characters. That's right. Where are you going? She's going underneath the ladder. Yeah. Okay. That we, when he goes up or down the ladder, Tom's going to just sconces. Like, uh, maybe, uh, right, he can't go back in. So he, he leaps. He leaps and attacks. He attacks the same one that, um, he attacks the same one that the Elven Kelly was swinging at this round. Miss. Okay, uh, Lindara. We already did you. We already yes. did you. Laurel, Laurel, Laurel Lee is like, uh, what is wrong with you, sister? Steps for, I'm saying she's close enough. Steps for 10 swings. Long sword, long sword. Miss critical in the secondary hand. 26. 26 edged. Massive critical. Roll two times. Really? Yep. The secondary hand long sword. 23 and 61. Twenty-three. Twenty-three is double damage. Sixty-one. And sixty-one is lodged in chest. Oh, that's another double. Four die eight plus zero. I don't leave a mark. He's dead. Drop so she can pull it out free. <laughs> Did twenty-two. Hmm. <clears throat> Master critical. Thank Sir you. Sir <laughs> and all I wanted was a drink. And information. I will. You know where we get our information from, don't you? 
him and the, and the two guys are tied up up there. Right. You see what that dope over there does. He's, he, he's, he's going to run like a screaming bitch. He, he's going in trap door and he's heading this way. Mm -hmm. He receives a bolt in the sternum first. Can't she, tight tonight. She's just going 12. She's going right to the right to the outside of the door here. Okay. All right. And that is everyone correct? Nope. Nope, Medwin, right? What is going on here? Emboldened. Okay. Oh, I lost that round. I need an intelligence roll for Matt on a die 20, please. <clears throat> Should be pretty good. He's an H. Yep. <laughs> I rolled a cruddy nail. Dude, that's funny. It's not funny, but it's funny. Uh, you're mumbling up top. Feeble minded? No. You just, you're mumbling. You're like, you don't understand it. You don't understand it. That is hysterical. Okay. <laughs> that's an intelligence roll. So we got um we got one one turns attack sconce, the one the, the prayer one, four miss, one attacks miss. You still got three on you, Aristide? Aristide's got three on him. Miss. Man, my dice are cold. Miss 10, 5, and one hit, 16. Aristide, six more points. The Fire Maester is having a, a tough time. Down to 15. Guy up top with a bow. Um, it's a long range shot, but he's going to shoot, take some pot shots at mid when he sees him sculpting it out. Uh, misses. Both misses horribly. Uh, they were just, they were saying something you did not understand what they said. So, um, that is it. We're going to, uh, we're going to make an init roll here. Um, and then something's going to happen. So maybe, go ahead. In it. <laughs> Don't the gesture. Bill, I know, I did. I'm it's sorry. Funny, man. Oh, Six. Okay. You win. So the guys outside. I know, Patrick is painful. The guys outside. These five? What well actually two two women, three men, all humans. They Yeah, Adam, I use mostly mostly foam. Uh, the only thing I use cardboard for is uh and it's you know single ply stuff, you know, soda boxes, that sort of thing is for shingles. Everything else is, is foam or wood. They run, huh? They all bolt. Oh my god, yeah. We're Tom and we know why. Thank you. That's a oh, story. Patrick, thank you. That's going to, uh, you're going to Matt or Max, your, your call. They both have two. <clears throat> um, I will give it to Matt. Okay. So now, uh, note, the five outside have all broken. They don't want any parts of this. They don't want to die. They've all taken it off. Is anyone going to parting attack them? Try and take take them down. They've all bolted. And then, is anyone gonna? I, I'm not engaged with any of them, so no. Well, I, 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 so, no, yeah, no, okay. cavalry gonna let them go. You're letting them run. Like they run. Okay, you guys get action. That was initial. Okay, so I'm gonna let you all get your freeze. We're gonna take a quickie, uh, a quickie fiber. I'm gonna use the restroom. All right, we'll play your favorite song. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh God, anything but that song, please. No, you must I, listen. I, I, I watched. Good. I watched. I watched Tim Rip there. comes out. Uh, it's comes not. Out. We're not ending. There, hit the one button. Watch Tim Rip comes on a continuous loop. Nope. You must listen. Oh God. You got that. What can we say to Dan? Get him banned for every day. What can we say? <laughs> what can we say? Our starts satirizing. I ought to write down all the words sometimes.
and just start making fun of it. It's a good song. It's not that bad, but it's a good song. It's a good song. It's a good song that I've heard a couple times. I don't need to hear it anymore. Okay, let's come to Let's get this here so we'll get Make your own filter, some spackle. I use a lot of plaster of Paris. You know, have you ever used the expanding foam for anything? You got yeah, that, uh, that's, that's expanding foam. Is it? One of those I had a left that, you know, I did one around skills and spots and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I use it on a bunch of drafts that make uh, wands for my husband's kids, like so Harry Potter wands, and I spray it on the rods, and cut it down, you know, and yeah, it's pretty cool, it looks good, but it takes a lot of work. But if you throw in bulk areas and stuff, it works. Oh, you don't got them, you have got the maple leaf cookies, that's right. Oh, yeah. Uh, Patrick's measures. Nice. Oh, yeah, I got some under, I got some, uh, other dark stuff I want to work on. I have some really large bubble plants from landscape 3D that I gotta, I'm gonna make some. Thanks for Patrick here. Some of the stuff. Oh, the cookies. oh man, pick them there. They're the best. You weren't here last couple Apple weeks. Fritter. What are these ones? Yeah. Mm. They're the ones, boy. Mr. Maples. You have to drink something after too. <laughs> oh yeah. It, but it's a good, it's a good drink, good thing, right? About two, mm -hmm. yeah, you need to, like this. The tea lights make things really cool. Yeah, they do. Okay, so. Well, especially if you, if they're on the, the different holidays, you can buy the different colored tea lights or the cheapy lights from the dollar mm -hmm. stores, that sort of thing. Yeah, the LEDs, the LEDs exposure stuff. Yeah. Yep, Patrick, uh, top, uh, Bill never got any of the cookies. Remember Ooh. you? Ooh, I get a whiff of goodness. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's like the best sandwich cookie ever. Oh, we have one box left for Saturday morning there, Patrick, for the game Saturday. Okay. I think it's going to last that long? You're going to eat both boxes? You're going to gorge yourself on two boxes of cookies? If it's good enough, who knows if it would sneak oh out the God. Of it. That's pretty gross. It's a peanut butter and maple leaf? No, you'll see. They smell good. There's no better. Mm. Okay. So, we're going to start with... Um, <laughs> I'm going to do you last. Yeah, we're good. We'll start furthest back. Medwin, what do you do? They're probably so bad for you. It's <laughs> making my mouth think of it. Okay. I hope I'm not allergic to anything. No, when you're up. Is your tongue sw swollen up? You got to watch it. I think they process those in a facility where they also process these nuts. <laughs> well, there's a picture of Deeds nuts right on there, so. Because Deets nuts are meat. No, nuts. it's peanut butter free facility. <laughs> he is just going to uh, he's gonna go straight forward to the to the wall. Move uh, move uh, forward. Medwin? 
Yeah. yeah. The guy up top with the bow still got you inside. Okay. By the way, you don't, the guy in the tower, it's dark, but the guy in the tower is gone too. Tom, take the guy in the tower, mm -hmm. throw him over to me. You just throw him, it's plastic. Yeah, that's all right. I'll catch it. I got a high dexterity. Ooh. He's, he's in middle age, his dexterity dropped. Um, Saoirse. Well, she's going to go in. Yes. Yeah. I'm doing good, man. It's a portrait workshop giveaway and a uh, Reaper giveaway tonight, man. Portrait workshop, you get the beta for the program. But she'll go in and go, the first she sees is the people by the other door. Yes, so, the two, the executioner hood's on. So she'll go over to them. Okay, so you start running over to them. Well, the minute they do that, they uh, they look at each other and they, they're like, uh, say, Who? kill a woman? Okay. Kill a woman? <laughs> what a breed. What's his name? Lug? Was it Lug? Meat Lug? Gentlemen, Meat Lug. Are they both Not a woman? Put scones in and have them go into the corner. So he doesn't cast spells. Yeah, yeah, no, the other corner. Yeah, about there. Go ahead, uh, Elvin Cavalier. Max, what do you do? Run to the corner and cry. Yeah. Um. You're not gonna run in. Yeah. All right. So you can, yeah, you're gonna engage too. Or are you, yeah. you, you can go up the. I don't okay. think you can get that far. Our side. Cookies are getting mauled. I'm doing a lot better. Thank you for asking. That was very kind of you. Yeah. I was Tom, so happy I was off work today. Tom, Tom's doing better too. And Jay got him sick. Yeah. No, I was already. I got him sick. Why is it? Why is it my fault? Because I've been sick since you you caught next to him. I've been sick since caught, I got back from Gary. Over man. me for four hours. That's why. Well, you didn't have to sit next to me. You kept licking his dice when he wasn't looking. <laughs> yeah, what's with that? I like the taste of dice in the morning. Come on, pen. There you are. Go ahead, there, Lindara. It's all right. Are you Jay. gonna spend around picking up that weapon? Yes. All right. Move forward ten. Laurel's like, they just all charged in there. Doing well, guys. Doing well. <laughs> exactly. They taste like victory. <laughs> Football. And then some. Oh, what a great movie that was. Tom Hanks was funny. <laughs> that was good. Oh my gosh. All right, move her to the. She goes to the entrance, goes right in. She's not going to wait for Linda at this point. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Move to the entrance so she can see this guy up top. She's going to try to take out the, the bow guy. Yeah. She's not going to go in. She wants to take him out from outside. So, all right. Who did I miss? Is everyone. Oh, uh, Matt, you're last. You're already under the ladder. Correct. Yeah. Nobody's coming down, huh? Nope. You heard mumbling up top. <laughs> There's no way I can sneak up there, though. Well, actually, there is. <laughs> so what are you going to do? What's going on with this guy? They're both advancing. No. It's just, it's a statue. That's right a now. statue. Yeah, that's that statue. That's got uh, some armor on it. It's got some armor on it. See? Look. Okay. It's a stand. It's armor stand. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Stand. Yeah, I got you. Ooh, I'm print, I'll be printing a pretty cool armor stand tonight. They're actually not. They're actually off a little bit for engagement purposes. You going to try to sneak behind one? Yeah. Okay. All right. Everyone's where they are. I, is everyone here? It's like I'm missing someone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where's the eight? Oh, uh, and then Dak. Then Dak. Okay, so they both delay back. Um, he shoots, and he'll, he, he, he'll, he's going to shoot down at Laura Lee, and then let me do them up top with their spells. Did you know they're coming? Yeah, Patrick, these, these cookies are, are terrible. <laughs> 
I could sit and eat the whole box of them and make myself <laughs> sick. Yeah. They're so sweet. So I'm saying, but you, you got to take a drink after too. But I'm, I'm still enjoying the taste because it stays with you. Yep. The, the Maple Queen. Patrick, Josh just uh, discorded me back. He's in a GaryCon meeting. I forgot he has a, he has a Thursday night GaryCon meeting, so he lurks. Just your word. Um, the left hand of Prosperity, she noticed her weapons in the left hand and noticed that the, the, the other guy, the, his weapons in the right hand. Eugene is in his right. How do you know it's Eugene? He's big and broad and red. <laughs> The left hand of prosperity centered right on the three that came down, right? Those three back. And, and uh, it's going to, I'm going to be, uh, just get those three. Uh, centering it out. It should probably get Laura Lee too, actually. Uh, she fought, she, she, she gets fireball. You mean outside the entrance, Jay? Yeah, because she doesn't want to get her executioner guys. Boom. So uh, before, let me roll the damage, and then I'll tell you guys to make save, saves. It's all at minus one because uh, you're in the, their prayer. Left hand of prosperity. That sucked. I'll do Laura Lee first. Remember your hero points, regulars, and specials. Laura Lee needs members minus one. She's a 12. She's her only re uh, No, she'll, she'll save it. 18. Seven points on the save. <clears throat> Anyone with fire resistance? The other three in there are, is, is Searsha, yeah, Matt does. Aristide, and Max, right? Fire resistance, right. Okay, and that is uh, Aristide, correct? Correct. All right, so minus two per die, plus three in your save. So uh, plus two in your save because of the prayer. What's up, Sparky? Roll up. What do you need? Like a seven or eight? Uh, okay. Oh, you're, there's a dwarf. Oh, maybe more than that. Because you're a fighter. Oh, the Maester's oh, Mage. No, wait a minute. Maester's Mage table, right? No. Yeah, so uh, you need eight, and then two is six. Twelve. Minus two per die. Four. Still puts you down to 11. Max. One regular, two specials. I'm using my one regular. All right, so that evens up. You still are, you're at fourteen. All right, let's see. What you know, if, if you don't have any fire resistance, it's a fourteen save. No, you're undamaged. It was a <laughs> shitty fireball. Well, you made it seven points. Probably one of the worst fireballs I've cast in a long time. <clears throat> The uh, right hand of prosperity. Can't do that this round. Even in Sparky. I got. I got to let this spill up. Give me one second. One second. I just want to make sure I'm doing the right thing with it. And looking in Rock and Rituals. No, thank you. See, Nine Inch Nails is coming for two shows, Tom. Oh, man. That'd be awesome to see him. I haven't, I haven't seen The last time I saw them, they were, the opening act was in the, the 90s. Yeah. yeah, it was the Jim Rose Circus. Okay. Yes, and razor Blades and all that stuff was the opening act for That was an awesome show. Guest. Trent Reznor, the man. His older, older stuff was good. The new stuff's kind of Spell. Guest. Okay. He, when he, he, he was really angry when he didn't have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Two shots on, uh, two shots out there. He does a lot of movie stuff now. She got him? Uh, I need a, a fumble roll. I think he won an Oscar. 85. Soundtrack Hit fumble. <clears throat> roll twice. Oh, my gosh. The synth collection is amazing, too. 88. Poor swing because you so expose yourself. He's up. But that was that whole industrial sound. Mm -hmm. So... Roll, Tom, roll me an eight-sided die. If I, if you roll one, two, or three, he goes, eight -sided he, die? he knows dives. He's fell. He slipped in. He slipped in blood. He slipped in his own. He just slipped. We good, Jay? One, eight, and he falls back. So he stuns himself for one or two rounds. 
That's the, uh, the, sh the guy with the bow up top. He falls and stuns himself. I'm going to fumble. Did two points on the initial He falls pitch. right here, right, Jay? Yeah, back. He doesn't fall forward. Yeah. Okay. That would have been funny if he fell off, but he did not. I would have to dodge him. Oh, oh that made it convenient to kill you. Okay. I think rounds, it's a new round now. You won. So inside, you see only see really five. Uh, the others have, have run off, right? They're, they're, they've run off. You don't see them. Um, and you only see the two guys with the executioner hoods on uh, and the two up top and the guy with the um, the bow who slipped and fell. And that's what you see right now. So we got, we got a minute. Go for that, please. You guys did not parting below any of the ones that ran off. Three. Three. Damn it, Tom. I'm, I can't. Two, you got it. Sometimes it's good to... <clears throat> That's good to what? Let people go. Sure. Not before we link their weapons. Matt, you're up first. Well, that's all right. We got rangers here. We can always track them. You backstabbing one of the executioners? And then, yes. And then the road will look like this. Yeah, no. That's right. It's going to be worse than Vlad. You're going to hang them or are you going to crucify them? I'm going to use um, my uh, regular hero on the first one. On the first one to attack on backstab? Go. Mm -hmm. right, you're right. Yeah, we're on class of seven. Okay. <clears throat> so that's plus six and then uh, uh, minus one for the pair plus five. That's an 11. We're on a class of seven. Are, are you fourth level thief or fifth? <clears throat> fifth level. You missed by one. You have you have two specials. I have three specials. Three specials, that's right. You bur one. You bur okay, so you hit it with the backstab. Roll your secondary. Miss. Three die eight. You triple. Three die eight plus one. No, plus zero for the prayer. Three die plus zero. You, you, you angered him. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Do you want to swing at one of them? Yeah. Step, yeah. Forward, step forward and swing. Uh, I'm sorry, armor class? Five. Five? Yep. All right, so that would be 13. They were, uh... Same one, I'm assuming, that was just being backstabbed. Prayer, right? Prayer's minus one hit, minus one damage. Yep. So, um, uh... Our side, you know, step forward. Nothing two on the same plus one, one right minus four, minus one. Okay. Bubble. Oh! I'll use one of mine to... Okay. I don't even know how many I have, so... I believe you have two, if you haven't used any yet. And Daddy can move her nine with me. Right? She's at what? One? One, one now? That was Searsha? Yeah. Yep, one. Okay, what book is the uh, Shadow Mage spells in it? Red. Red. Oh, red, red, that's right. <clears throat> you got some new spells. Yeah. But I'm just um, looking at something. I just want to check something. All right. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of spells for him. I got a Medwin? No, no, no. I'm sorry. Uh, Aristide. So we the same one? Yes. The one that was backstabbed. Oh, I rolled a two. <laughs> Thank God, one. you guys are brutal. Oh, my. Have another cookie. Max, you're up. I could sit and eat that whole. I could eat a whole thing. <laughs> you know, I wanted to sleep. I'm going to try to give it a few more minutes because I really want another one. Yeah, I mean, they're great, aren't they? Good. <laughs> So Patrick sent the entire packet. He bought the, the ketchup flavored Lay's. I thought I'd hate them. Oh, they're good. I gobbled them down. Yeah, we never even knew what did, they were. Have you, never, you never did that? Dip, 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 potato chips and ketchup? Uh, I made it when I was a kid, but these were ketchup you know. Well, if you go out to the Hearst factory, they have them out there too. Yeah. yeah. Potato chips and ketchup is always a classic. Oh gosh, miss. Poor man's french fries. <laughs> he raw. He raw. He's really rolling bad. Bad. Medwin. Medwin is. Uh, he's going to move up to the the door. So you can see what is going on. Laurel, he's magic missile the guy who fell. He's going to go up. Here. Get damage on him at least. Okay. Anyone not go? So, Matt, 
I'm gonna do I'm gonna do you first. As as you as you do not kill outright, you look up and you hear feel the wrath of the legs of prosperity. And you see someone jumping down. <laughs> just, just jumping off the ledge down. So this person goes. She got really big feet. And fall that distance. The legs of prosperity. That's what he missed in the discussion. There was like, wait until someone, yeah. Wait until they come up the ladder. But now it's, it's changed. The legs of prosperity goes down. And it kicks, tries kicking you in the head. The legs, you don't see any weapons out. DFA. You will come on, stun. Was he a monster? 19, plus one. Critical. It's not crit. I don't have a special. But with the prayer, plus one. But Max's armor, Matt's armor class is four. So on the on the table, Matt fourteen five greater. Stun, yes, a kick in the head, stun. Thank you for the follow, Dead Ghost. That means you're stunned one to six rounds. Now and your armor class is guess what? Damage of eight. As Matt gets kicked in the head by a monk, his armor quest is four. Four percent chance. Outright kill. Outright kill. That was cool, monk. Nope. 81. So, <laughs> Matt, you just got kicked in the head with a monk by a monk. The legs of prosperity. Ugh! Matt goes down and mm -mm -mm. stunned from that whirl kick. How many, uh, um, what kind of damage? Um, did I say that? Six or eight, whatever it was. <coughs> yeah, I said um, eight points. So eight right? points. Wait a minute. Yeah, so you were. Um, Fifteen. I mean. Um, you were already at. Did you have any damage on you? You didn't. Yeah, eight yeah. points. You're down 13. But you're stunned for a certain number of rounds. One to six rounds from that. So, um, let me do the two executioners. One swings at Searsha. That's how the farmers say it is. Not, not bother. What? That's how the farmers tell people not to bother. <laughs> uh, one on uh, on Aristide, and he's they're both missed up top. <sighs> yes. Well, thank you. This is, yeah, this is not a store. This is a base, a gaming basement, or, you know, in my house. So thank you very much. Hang out and uh, giveaways are coming. Feel free to sign up. The left, the, the left hand of prosperity. Magic missile. It's simultaneous. So it's on max. It's on Matt as well. That shot lane. What is uh, you got magic missile from the left hand of prosperity. I get a half save. Magic magic missile that's, burning hands. That's max. Matt. I thought you said both. No, just Matt. Okay. Just Matt. Yes. Thank you. You're down to three. And you're un oh you're stunned. The the right hand of prosperity. Yes. Spell. Something on himself, probably. Okay. Hmm. I don't know whose idea this was. It just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're up to. Undone. Isn't it? Let's do you, Bill. The legs of prosperity. Six. Can you imagine that leaping off and just seeing this right in the head getting kicked? Mm -hmm. Steven Scott would do it. <laughs> I don't think so. He'd fall on you now and kill you. You got it. You're stunned. Um, Laurel. Three points. What's that? Yeah, yeah. You're down to three and you're stunned. 
Uh, Laurel Lee cast um, her uh, last magic missile on the on the on the bow guy up top, trying to take him down, trying to take him out. Let me do her first. Nine points. You don't hear him moving anymore up top. Okay, Edwin, you can go next. Edwin moves in and casts and throws two up here. On, her, on, on the right hand of Prosperity or the left? Whoever the girl is. The left hand of Prosperity. What, Fire Water? Two and uh, 18. Okay, you throw Fire Waters at her? Yep. That's not nice. Four to 24. It's my it's my most damaging spell I have. Okay. You you, you throw your Fire Waters. Okay. Fair enough. Pretty good. Sixteen points. Five, six, Great. two, and three. Then Darren goes up the ladder. You going up the ladder? Mm -hmm. You just make that full climbers rail and all there. No problem. Trying to get it so at least you can see something. Go from this angle. There we go. Better. All right. Okay. So um. Seriously. Seriously. Uh, she'll attack again. The, the, execu uh, the executioner or the legs? She's going to attack the legs. The legs. The legs of prosperity. He, um, because because that, he, he's stunned and the, the monk could just beat him to death. I'm um, class five. The legs of prosperity. And Kick you right in it. So, uh, same thing. So, uh, nothing. Minus four. Critical. So that's a critical one. It's a minus four to hit. Is it still a crit? You roll natural crit? Natural crit. Yeah, it's a crit. I, I can't undo it. I don't have a special. You critical hit the legs of prosperity. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. With my secondary longsword. Same thing. That's what she did. She... 24. Secondary armor moved at all about. <laughs> <laughs> God. All this plus nothing. <laughs> Seven, eight points. He's um so you see that he's just, happen? He's just the legs, so it don't matter. Well, he's a monk, and that's the only reason, but the, the blood is really pouring out. And you can see it's like he's like in shock. He's, he's in serious shock. Um, Max. Take that. Fighting the other, ex you and I were started fighting the other executioner. Mm -hmm. So roll your attacks. Yeah. Did you attack last round? <clears throat> I think so. Yeah, so you get four made. attacks this round. Uh, 13. That's 20 up there. Arm class five, fourth level. Hit exactly. Go for it. Miss. Hit. Hit. Miss. Right. Give me a, a die eight and a die four. All remember the last one for the prayers. All <clears throat> plus three. Yeah, plus three. Was there one? Nope. <laughs> got it. Seven. Yep, got it. Eleven. Still up. It's it's got to be almost by accident that Edwin doesn't go up this time. That's if he survives. He'll survive. He's fine. Uh, did anyone not go? I think everyone went. You want a knit? So I'm going to do the legs first because I'm going to give him a minus two to hit on as he goes to uh, Sirsha. Your armor class is two, right? Uh, Two-fisted, yeah. Okay. Miss. 
He's like, ah! He tried to kick you and missed. All freaked out. The executioners. One attacks Searsha. One attacks Max. Both missed. They all missed. The left hand of prosperity. Do you start losing hit points if you're bleeding out like that? Uh, it depends. You can't assign that effect. Right. Where normally it's a con. It's a it's a system shock that should say conscious. Right. So um. She uh, the you did um you did eighteen points on the left hand of prosperity uh, last round uh, right Madeline? sixteen sixteen yeah she no, you want to do eighteen that's fine she uh says we can both play that game you will be my prosperity after I take you down fire water back she throws two. You got any uh, fire resistance or anything? Actually, yes, he does. Bring a fire resistance. That's two per die. Two, five, no, six, seven points. <laughs> saved yourself eight. Saved yourself eight points from fifteen. The right hand of prosperity. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking to myself. You should stop talking to yourself. Stop it. He touches her. He touches her and casts Kill Light Wounds on her. I don't feel like they're working. Don't. Yeah, I have to. I actually have to go to the office. Tomorrow. All right. So she heals her. He heals her a little bit. So, at the end of this round, off in the distance, in the darkness, probably near the tower, you hear no, no, go, no, 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 no. <laughs> Did you hear? Okay. Way off in the distance in the darkness from the around where the bell and the tower was where you incapacitated the two guys and, re and tied them up. <laughs> oh. In that new round. Patrick's asking, you still eating cookies? I've I've had three, uh, and I'm doing my best to resist. Five. Wait, he's going to belt, buckle like a bear. roll. I will. I, I guarantee you, I will buckle. He rolled. Five. You got it. Two. Medwin, you can go first. Medwin. She goes. He says, "So you like to play with fire too, huh?" He does streams of fire back on her. <laughs> Okay, what's it do? Uh, so it does D2 plus one per level, save for half. Two, four, six, Come seven, eleven points. Save for half. Mm -hmm. Prayer's still on. Okay. I'm almost out of offense. Step literally in, in, please, into the opening and up top. She will cast um, up there. Snow lock, snowball, swarm on the two up top. She can recast that. That's she can recast one second with her pearl power. So she shoots the snow locks up top. So uh, four die three. I will fold like a cheap folding chair or a cheap. Was it fold like a cheap suit? I forget how it. What is it? I don't know, man. So um, if they fail, they take uh, eight. If they make, they take four. Made, made, four points each. It's the first time the right hand of prosperity took damage. That's right. Well, the next thing I'm going to be doing is heads on stakes. Yes, <laughs> we have those already. Oh, uh, we don't have human heads on. Stakes. Oh, stop! Wait, wait, wait! You don't need to get that graphic. Why? Do you, why are you doing all that stuff? It's fine. Go ahead, uh, Searsha. The, the attacking the, the monk? On my, on my big toe. I'm attacking my big toe. <laughs> Four. That's funny. No, two misses. Wow. Max, 
Aristide. 13 plus. Oh, there you go. Next two attacks. Eight. Oh, Scott. Scott's move last round. Scott's attacks the executioner that's on Searsha. Okay. I think it is. Take 10. I think that one. I'm trying to remember. That one. That's. 15. Look at the dimensions. I think I have some pig pens I can print from uh, Gamescape, too. Uh, give me. A, you do? I think so. Give me a die, uh, a die eight and add three. Add two. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. So enough. Drop the one executioner on those two. Okay. All right. Sconce. Let's keep an eye out for an orange, an orange 20 side. Orange 20? I hate that when you lose dice. I hate that. All right. Tom, you rolled so many fumbles with it. It, it, it ran away. <laughs> All right, so I got four left up there. I got an executioner attack here, sir. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, from uh, Spoil the Cemetery, my man. Yes. Cast Fury Fire on these two. Okay, great. So, uh, Lindar, I forget you're up top there. Lindar, Fairy Fire is the right and left hand of prosperity. She didn't want to get too close with that snarl. Oh, look at that. Yeah. See? Where was it? It was in the bag store. Oh, the ball was in the bag. Oh. It was in the bag by the beaver. The ball. <laughs> yeah, under the beaver. Die. Magical Die. beaver. Two attack rounds from the monk. Three every two on Searsha. Still oh, applying a minus beaver. still applying a minus two. Did this come with a cord? Hit! It did. But no stun. No, 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 no. Miss. Somebody gave me this and I wrapped the cord around it. Yes, he kicks you know. right in the gut. Ugh. Seven. Okay. Kind of knocks the wind out of you, but that's it. First damage. You were the last one that was not damaged. The left hand of prosperity. Points at Lindara. Ooh, well, it, it, luckily it's a spell effect, it, it, so crit doesn't matter. Um, Melts acid arrow. Fifth level, just one round of acid and arrow, correct at that level? <laughs> Melts acid arrow for, I, wow, that sucked. Six points. Arrow and acid together, uh, Lindara. Six points. You're down to 24. If you had gloves of missile snare. Can someone cast that because it's a roll to hit? Would you stop the spell? Could yes. you catch the arrow? Yes. Because it's a physical arrow, right? Yes. Yes, you would. Just curious. Not a want not magic missiles. Not magic missile. Right. And not flame arrow, because that's that's different. That's right. an explosion. Right. You can catch the arrow. You can, yeah, absolutely. The answer is yes. The answer is yes to that. So as um um the right hand of prosperity, um you cast a spell on her, touches her again. Gives her some healing. She looks damaged pretty badly. She moved closer to you so that she can melee you. She has a short sword as her weapon from the, the left hand. All right. I have left the monk who's still in trouble. One executioner knows too. Give me, give me a nit now. The end of this round. Oh, yeah. he's, he's close enough, or no? He's ten feet away, right? Yeah, yeah, he's close enough. Yeah. So, no, he has to be right behind so her to cast yeah. the spell on him. Or, right? Yeah, he moves forward with her. What's that? What? Oh, two. I got it. Monk's last attack. He misses and then uh, he just he, he goes in uh, into convulsions with his arm cut off. She can put him down. Mom's like, oh, 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 oh. Mother, oh. mother, mother. We he's he's like the guy in Saving Private Ryan. He's Mom. looking down. He picks yeah. up his arm and walks away with it. Yeah, yeah that was a disturbing scene. That's a mega shock, huh? The um, trying to pick out which is the right arm. That was the hard part for me. The, the uh, um, executioner misses you. The left hand of prosperity. Prayer's still on, so they're plus one. She's plus one to hit. She's plus five to hit with, with this. 
she's got chainmail on and a shield out. Just like just like the mini. 14 plus uh, 5. That's 19. That hits. Die 6 plus 3. Max 9. Nice. And now you're down to 15. The right hand of prosperity. Eugene! Can you, you that, do you say that? It could have been worse. Do you yell that? The left yeah. foot and the right foot of prosperity. See, that's what he says. Only my parents call me that. Whole person of minus two for doing that. Nice. Nice. You want to waste it on me? Was, that's fine. I was on another planet. I said we got lucky. It could have been the left what foot. What do you mean? Right foot of prosperity. I used my two. Okay, that evens it up, but the prayer's on. That's still minus one. What do you so need? Norris is super foot Wallace. Need, uh, Phil Wallace. Need a 14th. Snap in his roundhouse. So, uh, Lindauer's like, uh, Lindauer's held. Turn the stone. No, just a, know. Yeah, held. He's like, we will be prosperous together, he says to you. <laughs> Medwin's like, the only thing you're going to do is fertilize the plant. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Don't you love crazy Zilch's worshippers? See, look, look on that side of the road. See all those gallows? That's where you're going to be. <laughs> you don't like the worst crazy Zilch's people? These are crazier than Michael Baton. Still, he still lives on in his followers. He will. He's going to become a hero god. I swear it. I'm done. That's all I have. So, and then Darius held Matt, you get up. You can use something defensive on yourself if you're Jews. You see that the monk. Uh, Convulsing. You don't look good. This is what happens when you hang with the wrong crowd. <laughs> what do you do, Matt? <clears throat> Shadow image. Okay, uh, that's defensive. So, and they have hit points, right? Twenty percent of your total hit points, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you got you got four total, one of yourself. Uh, so they all have tw five hit points. Three at five, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You gotta do that much to get rid of them. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. She okay. and Dara held up top. They're both very far up top, by the way. Okay. Well, there's still, still, there's still an executioner on her, right? Yeah. Yeah, she attacks. Yeah. Scarface is attacking that, too. Right. Actually, you know what? This round? Mm -hmm. Bless. Okay. Let's, let's increase our chances. You don't have extension, do you? No. Aristide? She had to use all her proficiencies to get a... Aristide and Max, what do you do? Play with those long swords. Um, I'm just going to start going up the ladder. All right. Who's going first, Aristide or Max? I'll let Max go. Max, you're going up the ladder first? Go if he wants to go up first. Yes? Yeah. Push yourself all the way at the top. You're at the top. Just move, move Lindauer back into the corner, okay? All right. I'm going to put him up top. All right. No, wrong character. That's your shit. Gargamon, what's up? All right, now Aristide, uh, um, it's a, with your movement rate, you can still you can get up there behind them too. I, both. Good to see you, man. Thank you. All right, so you both up. Remember, they're susceptible to area effect this round. Should we cast the uh, Snorlax? What's that? You don't have any more. You don't have any uh, offensive. I have one. Oh my yeah. god! This round, if they fail six, if they make three, they both failed. <laughs> the 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 left hand takes six. The right hand takes six. Of prosperity. What are you doing? Uh, cast this one to four levels higher. Mm -hmm. Four. Ooh, that's huge because Here's just a, that's eighth. That gives me magic missile. That's what's that? One, three, five, seven. You can't. Four. It's got to be. A five oh, it's got to be one of those. Yeah, you're right. Uh -huh. So then she just does magic missile. Okay. That's right. It has to. Be Thank you, missile. man. Not, not the other. Well, I would have affected the other one. But... The one you should have done it. On, yeah. Ten points, max. Which one did you do with the right hand or left? The, to her. Left hand. Okay. She's like, ah, oh, Eugene, help me. <laughs> Uh, 
I won that round. Outside in the distance, you hear, no, no, no. <laughs> no idea, huh? It's the, uh, what's his name? The dude dying for water? No. no. <laughs> Rampaging flesh goblin. Initiative. <laughs> or it's a gelatinous cube. Really fast moving one. Is it, uh... Is it me? Yeah. Four. Oh, I'm just trying to what it would be. Melding things. Shamlin down. The executioner down, right? Sconce. Uh, critical head. That one's got the blunt, right? He's got like the freaking, uh, what do you call that thing that you knock people out with? It's just, it's, it's like a club effect. What's the thing? Sap? Sap, yeah. It's a, cl a club effect. Blunt crit. Blunt crit on Scott. 68 blunt. 68 blunt. Mm -hmm. uh, struck in head, 2 to 12 teeth removed. Oh, a dwarf can trick in the face. Oh, <laughs> Oh, like a lot of his front, te two of his front teeth, and a couple other ones get knocked out and get hit in the face with it. Well, now he is a Scots. We put a candle. <laughs> That's wrong, man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wee, look at my teeth. <laughs> now he's going to talk like a hillbilly. Nine points. Can you tell I'm a mountain dwarf? The left hand of prosperity. She'll uh, she'll swing at um our, she'll swing at no the Elven Cavalier. This by the way, this is their last round of prayer. She'll swing at the Elven Cavalier. No, she's never gonna hit him. She swings the Elven Cavalier. That hits. She did hit. Max, nine points. Wow. Short sword with the short sword. That was awesome. We done forty one. The right hand of prosperity. His second whole person on the other two up there. I'm ready. You will all be prosperous with me. Use is one regular. We're gonna feed you to that thing outside. Need a seven. Two. <laughs> That's just bad. That's bad. Okay. Max, safe. Whole person. Let's second round to burn up, dispel magic up there or something. Who's high? No, let me sign up a little. Scott has it. Oh, he's, oh, that's right. He's straight priest. Mm -hmm. All right. Against spells. He, he gets an innate to spell magic or stone shape once per day. 13. Hmm? Tino, what's up? I need a 14 because of the. Prayer. Or no, that's all. Man. Oh, it's all in his last round. No, we have a, right. a bless on already. We have a so bless off side. Yeah. Right, but then my normal you 13. 13, right? right. You, you have, have some here. You have, you have one regular. You can use it. Um, I have two. two uh, no, I already used a, a regular. Didn't oh, I? Yeah, I used it already. Right. I have two, uh, two, two specials. Two specials. <clears throat> you made it. Wow. Yes. Finally made something. I won that round, right? Mm -hmm. Searsha. Searsha. Uh, she attacks. Sconce does. No, Sconce casts a spell magic up top. We'll do that. We'll do that afterwards. Oh, God. 15 and 3. Okay. Primary only. Uh, you need to spell so magic. So, oh, still, still the, mod, the prayer's still on, so it's only plus one damage. So, four points. Okay. So I took a point off for damage. All right, so. Yeah, man. Skunk's kiss. So it steps back, casts a spell magic. Laurel Lee stepped forwards and helped Seer shit. Matt, are you attacking that one too? What are you doing? Matt's down to um, three hit points. Yeah, but you got your shadow images on yourself. Yeah, but you know what? All right. He's going to take a potion. Of, okay. Of what? Extra healing. Wow. Okay. I'll, I may put you up to turtle. 
Probably a smart move. And you're not up top for it to get the spell here. Wow, I rolled three eights. Holy jeez. And uh, you, have, you don't have that many head points there. That's a 27 pointer. You got 18 back. Nice. So I'm at 18? You know, you're no, total 21. Yeah, Scott's Chet uses his innate ability uh, that he gets as a priest of Moradin to spell magic. And on the whole person on Lindara. 13, that's gone. Whole person on Aristide. 43, that's gone. He's got a 48% chance. Okay, other defensive spells. Are we ready here? Something on the left hand. Gone. Wow. Right hand. I'm not going to do the prayer because it's going to right hand. Gone. Exactly 48. Another uh, thing. Gone. To, he hasn't failed yet. 25. He just spelled every single thing up there. Does anyone else up there have anything spells on them? Anyone else? Oh, fairy fire. Fairy fire. Mm -hmm. That's not going. I rolled an 80. Wow. My gosh. That's lucky. That is lucky. Yep. All right. You still get your two attacks on the, the left hand. This is all sound. Yep. Shoot. Give me one second. Two attacks. Laura Lee takes that one down. So, roll. So <clears throat> Seven. Fifteen. That one hits. Well, wait a minute. She's negative one armor class. Magic chain, magic shield, dex, and, and uh, defensive training. So. Attack four plus one. What'd you roll on your first die? Seven. Miss. What'd you roll on your second 15 die? Fifteen hits. Fifteen? Yeah, or no. You need a seventeen. Oh. 15. Missed twice. She could armor class. Okay. Anyone not go? I think everyone went, correct? Oh, Medwin. Uh, Medwin. You can't really cast a spell up there. Right. He's good. Okay. He is, um, he's going to turn around and keep an eye out the door. Okay. We're going to reposition this one. Can you uh, pull that off of that for me? Not this turn. Okay. Cool. All right. Is this... Is that plus two because of his luck blade? Probably, if he's got that luck blade and ring protection. Yep. As long as you're fighting with it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, um, so everyone's going to look out the door, right? Remember, there's that, that fire is out there, so you can see pretty far around. I'm just going to step him outside just slightly, just so we know that. All right. So, all the ones down low are, are down now, and you have the two up top, and that's it right now. And I'm good. I'm, we're not going to move figures around, but we're going to say everyone else can engage everyone up here just because it's tight, right? Mm -hmm. So, do you mean it? Not me. Tom, did you win that one? No. You lost. Know, you know. One. Six. It's a good one. The left hand of prosperity. Now, they their, their prayers off, all their spells are off of them. Um, she uh, she swings uh, at um, yeah. uh, she, she she swings at at, at the Owen Kelly. There. She hits plus two now. Five points, Owen Kelly. Okay, you're down to thirty six. The right hand of prosperity. <laughs> No one's really attacked him yet. But it doesn't matter because that spell went off too. I had Divine Raymond on. Doesn't matter now. It's dispelled. Cast a spell. Just to annoy just to annoy Lindara. Dust Devil. Tie you up with the Dust Devil for a round at least. Okay. 
See a little mini cloud up there. Two at die monster. Tax. <coughs> Miss. Okay, I'm done. That's all I have. Oh, um, what we'll do it at the end of the round. Uh, the fun is coming. Oh, they're still alive, but don't worry about it. This is just a yes. Two left. <laughs> Go ahead, um, Lindauer. You can start. What are you attacking? Attack the dust devil. Dust devil. Okay. Eighteen plus hit. Seven plus four is eleven. Right, they both hit. Fourteen. You can give it back to me. <laughs> <clears throat> Tied me up for a moment. It's exactly what. Aristide, you can go next. She's battle shouting too up there. Okay. We're all three of them. Yep. So I'll get all you get an extra plus on it. Remember, you got bless and. Okay, and very far. And very far. So plus four on top. You missed. Go ahead, Matt. Max. <clears throat> the right hand uh, on, on the left hand, correct? A prosperity. Mm -hmm. Negative one armor class, but you get an extra max. You get an extra m m ma uh, max, yeah. You get an extra plus four to hit in both. And it's a two attack round for him. Yeah, it's four attacks. Four attacks. Yes. Holy shit. Yeah, you, if, you, if you don't hit two or three times here. Something's wrong. Even though they're negative one armor class, which means you have base 17. Tell him dropping them. We're doing, we're doing well, man. We're doing well. Hanging in there. Right. Roll up. All right. Oh my god, dude. That one hit so far. That that let me check that. That's a that hits exactly. You hit twice. Die eight, die four. Die eight, die four plus plus three. I mean plus four. Yeah, plus four. How much? Thirteen. She she's down. She falls off the ledge. Yeah. Dead. Uh, Edwin waves to her. Hi. <laughs> That's wrong, man. All, all, all of his images are. You're not. You're look, Matt, when you're looking. Uh, 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 Matt, what do you do? <laughs> Just for good fun, Matt uh, casts um, Net of Shadows. On himself or? No. On this dude. Uh, I think. Is that you within range on that? No shadows, you sure? It's close. It's really close spell. He needs like. Let me check. Let me check. He may be able to. It's a save. No shadows normally is yourself, but I think there is a range on it. Let me check. Oh, you close. It's close enough. Yeah. It's in the range. Cool. All right. What is the range? I don't even know. 25 plus 5 for every two levels. Really? Wow. That's, that's news to me. Okay. You're not sure if it's on him or not. Okay, but it's, it, it, well, it's in the it's area. It's like a little low. A little it's in the area. He's in now. little dim around him. So, uh, coming up the slope. Oh, clay ball. That's always nice. Clay gain. <laughs> But maybe it's a Tarask. Yeah. A Tarask. You're kidding, right? Yes. Searsha, Laurel Lee, Scons haven't gone yet, correct? We're still fighting it. No, there's nothing down though. Oh, the executioners. Yeah. And Medwin, you see this thing coming up. Hey, uh, guys. I don't know what it is. But don't feed it. But it's coming. Gorgeous. <laughs> All right, so you three down there, what do you do? No one, what do you, you're like, because you remember, it's in the dark and you see this thing. Remember, some of these guys are in the negatives and it appears to be going toward to one of these guys. Is it, four what is, it, is it an enveloper? What? What did you say? What did you say? It's an enveloper. What's that? What fiend polio, right? Or some what is that? What, what is what is that? That fiend polio. Yeah, 
I don't. I I had the video turned off because she was up like that every day. See something like what is that? There it is. Looks like an animated Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's not pleasant. <laughs> okay. One of those great fiend folio monsters that like you throw in once in a blue moon. They're like, what the hell is that? Okay. So Medwin, you tell what do the three download do? The, the, the right hand of prosperity is the only one left up top. And you got three people up there. Eugene! I can't see him, though. He's in the, in the shadows, right? It's, it's simultaneous this round. Oh, so Sears is like, well, you did it twice. The whole person, single target. Or him? Yeah. Okay. That may work. Why not? Mm, 15 minus 2. 13 on the card table. I bet you that I makes it still. Makes. Yeah, it makes. I think it's like a base for spells is like 12. Cleric? Cleric's low. No, he just made it, dude. With a mind. Just made it. That was close. Okay. Um, that was Searsha? Yeah. She comes outside with me. Everyone's like, what the heck is that? I don't know. But it's ugly. Looking at it like, what the? And you see, is the guy in the cage freaking out? Uh, he's drinking the water. I, I didn't want to really torture the guy in the cage. I guess I could, but it's going after easier targets. Okay, now the guy in the cage would be you know. so. Um, let's see. Hmm. I got Scon still. Let me see what Scon does inside. If he, I don't think he's coming out this round. We already got a bless on. Yep. Okay. He, uh... He, uh, he does a... Uh, seriously, how much damage you got on you? Not much. I have some. Not much. Not much, but you're the closest one there, Matsuto. He just doesn't kill anyone on you this round. You're off one. Okay. So. Initiative. Q bill. That to me? Five. Did you, you lost, right, Walt? Yeah, so it's a new rule to five. Two. Up top, Max, you're going to attack the right hand of Prosperity? Yeah, I'm right. All right, so you have you have a Bless, a Shout, and a Fairy Fire on him. He's armor class of... Four, because none of his buffs are on. Two attacks go and add, add plus four to hit them both above the blade on everything else. So roll primary. So the primary is plus, plus seven. Eight. Plus, plus uh, seven. Yeah, secondary is plus three. Critical hit. Oh, God. And an 18, which is another critical hit because I'm using my two hero points. Oh, my God. Double critical on. Uh, uh, damn. Double critical. Double Some Tim heads coming out for that critical. one. First one's on his J. Got it. 44 and then 0 1 thrusting. 44 edged. Double. 0 1 thrusting. Double. Excuse me. 2 die 8 and 2 die 4, all plus 4. 2 die 8, 2 die 4, all plus 4. Nice crit. 10, 15, 19 points. 
on the right hand of prosperity. Our side. Fifteen. I'm class four hits. You know, I have shield of faith on all that. It's all gone. It was in the dispel. Eleven. Lindara. So he was, um, he did have a lot of hit points. I mean, he has 45 base. He had made on. That's gone. All, everything's dispelled. Did you quit? Secondary. Secondary quit. What about the first one? <laughs> 15 plus. Oh, my God. Critical. Well, the crit. He was doing well. <laughs> and it all went to all went 20. Crap after that. What was it edged? Yes. Double no, da uh, yeah, yeah. Double damage. See the, the little Reaper weapon dragon? Yeah, I love that. That is awesome. I got a suit of plate. Is that from Bones 5? That's a Bones 5. Yeah. This was this was mixed in with all the, the stuff that Jeremy sent, so I just painted the little guy. Oh, yeah? yeah. So um, he's still alive, believe it or not. What do right, the others that are down low do? As you see, this one, this thing out there is just starting to absorb this guy right here. Whoa, yeah. he's eating their flesh. No, it doesn't. It just is like it's like, it absorbs it. it. Yeah, it turns like amorphous almost, and just starts absorbing it. What do you do, Medwin? Lorely goes. <laughs> I have no idea. She says. He says, "You want to go?" This thing's. The threat, isn't it? This is whatever this thing. I, I don't know what this thing is. So what do you do? He says, let's go halfway out and see what happens. If it, we draw it or is it going to continue to feed on what's left? All right. So you two both go there and there. There and there. Yes. Yep. Okay. Scott leaps out using his boots of shining and swing. Uh, seriously? Uh, she'll head out there. <coughs> Matt. I guess I'm going to move out, too. All right. You're all going out. Because you're like, what the hell is... Is it, is it is absorbing that body? And it, whatever life is left of that guy. Uh, is there still four of him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the enveloper. So, it's absorbing this round. That's all it can do. And you've all gone out there. You've all moved more than ten. Scott's the only one who can do anything because of his boots of shining and spring. He's gonna, he's gonna, and, and extend it. He's gonna cast bless and extend it for nine rounds so it doesn't go off. All right. So he cast bless. So you're blessed for the rest of this. Give me. Um, uh, oh, and inside the uh, the right hand of prosperity says. Uh, a blessing upon you as he pulls out his horseman's mace, finally swings it. I, I'm, I'm out of stuff to do. Can you see in that shadow? Uh, yeah, he moved it. He okay. wasn't on him, but he All swings. Right. Yeah, yeah. Miss. <laughs> you mean it? Go, Bill. Three. Four. So the thing moves forward 10 and sees Laura Lee and Medwin come close. And you hear a voice from this thing in a human, probably a human male voice. And says, uh, uh, opponents, cast a spell. What? And on Laura Lee and Medwin, you're light, both lightning bolted. <laughs> what the? It's the memories of the... Um, oh, what's that? People that it's enveloped. Yes. So it gets some skills? Spells, yeah. Get the skills, huh? Get the skills to pay the bills. Get skills to make the kills. Oh my God, I rolled terribly. 
Um, fire's not opposed to quasi, so there's no penalty on your save. The bus is on, you get plus one. Uh, what do you need? Uh, spells. Uh, yep. So, uh, plus one, I need an 11. Okay. You have one regular two specials uh, left. I'm going to use my one that I have. Yep. Make it a 10. Mm-hmm. 15. Half damage. Eight points. You would have been at zero if you failed. You're down to eight. Laura Lee um, has one regular, and that's it. She'll use it now. And the bless. That adds another plus one. So she needs a, a nine. An 11. Half damage. Eight points for her. Puts her down to. Oh, geez. 12. All right. Um, the right hand of my final act upon this is to make sure you are never prosperous again. And he casts a spell on you. Max, make a save. You still have a blessing there. That's plus one. Hold that for a second. Spells. You have no modifiers. No, I don't. Okay. So, you need a, um, so you need a 12. 12. 12. Made it. You're not cursed. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we'll start up top. Well, you have four attacks on him. Anyone that gives you melee, roll your attacks on him. Just tell me if you fall. I mean, he's down to two hit points. So, this, you guys are going to tear him apart, I'm assuming, right? Poor Eugene. <laughs> 13 plus I know, I'm really cruel, aren't I? We're going to send his head 16. back to his parents with a corn yeah. cob stuffed in his mouth. <laughs> he's dead. Just not drop him. He's dead. Three of you slaughter, slaughter him up top. Now. Poor Eugene. Melvin, you're like, oh my, you get Mom, lightning bolt. See you, again, you see son. this thing cast lightning bolt on you, and you're like, what the hell? That hurt. Uh, yeah. A seven, a seven hit thy lightning bolt. I didn't care for that. He, uh, he casts a spell. Let's see. She moves for a 10 as to spread out as far as she can. And then we'll do something. That's good. He casts a spell. He casts uh, Felstar's Flame Hand. Okay. Moves for a 10 and cast it. All right. Is, did you have to touch to hit that? You guys have to whack him? No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Move that one for a 10. It, it, it'll last six rounds. Okay. So. And it's. Two attempts, so. Oh, okay, great. Uh, Lorely, oh my god, she has sleep left. She moves for over 10 over there and is going to attempt, uh, pulls out her longbow. That's short range, plus 40, plus one damage. And she'll use, she gets six masterworks per day from her, from her quiver. So she'll shoot at it. Plus five to hit. Two arrows. See what it does. She doesn't even know. She doesn't even know if it's gonna work, right? On the melder. I'm class four. I'm not gonna tell you to hit that because you'll shit yourselves. <coughs> it's crack. Well, hit fumble. Damage of three and the fumble. Uh oh, <laughs> she has no special stun to it. 29. What is it? <coughs> 20, 29. <clears throat> Weapon strike. <coughs> Roll better than strength uh, on 4 by 6 to remove. Weapon, st Weapon stuck, I meant to say. So, so it's like stuck in the rocks right where she is. Ah! She got her bow stuck like in the uh, in the bottom of the rock area. And uh, 4 by 6 to remove this round? Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Uh, no. Oh. So that's no use for that next round. All right, uh, next, outside, Searsha. Searsha will... Uh, <laughs> chilling. Right Anyone else ever, out there ever use a an enveloper? Mm -hmm. So, Aloha, I don't. It slows the game down way too much. The same thing with weapon speed factor. We do not use. We do not use a, uh, 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 weapons versus armor class. Do not you do do not use at all. Do not use. Slows it down too much. Individual uh, initiative also slows. Yeah, individual initiative slows it way down. So you go to engage it. Scott's. 
He has no idea about this thing. Uh, Neither do I. So. But like, wow, this foul creature is. Where's our maester who understands uh, uh, operations? I don't know if he knows. Yeah, he's like. Uh, 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 he's like, I, I know, I know, I don't have anything to affect this. See, run him up. He's like, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die fighting this something like this. Who else is outside now? Uh, Matt. Matt. Look it up in Fiend Folio. <laughs> I like it. I tweaked, quirked it. I, I quirked it, changed it a little bit. The only thing I said, this one absorbs all the gear and items, too. That's why you didn't find anyone. This one was also eating memory moss. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they were actually, whatever they, whoever they kill and absorb, they get to all their... They get their spell effects and they get their abilities still. Matt, what are you Luckily, doing? Luckily, it's been supposed to be farmers. I can tell you how to irrigate for your crops. Not, not that lightning bolt. He's going to he's going to come over here. Good question. Okay. So at twelve so you're not hiding because you're moving full twelve inches, right? Right. Alright, the three up top. Oh, you guys already we already did you, right? So yes, yeah. yeah. Alright, so the enveloper. How many people went to how many people got to engage it this round? Two. All right, as you're moving forward, so I'm going to say it's going to be you have a you have a prayer on. You hear a female voice now, it changes to a female voice, kind of an elven accent, elvish accent. The enveloper as it casts whole person. Now you uh, it's going to hit Laura Lee too. Laura Lee, Saoirse, Sconce. Okay, you all get plus ones. Great realism is fine, especially on one-on-one -on -one combat. Just a miss combat, it's so tough. All right, I'll use mine. She should have one left as well, right? Joshua, you have a regular and a special. All right, so uh, she needs a 12. Okay. 15. You are, nothing happens to you. Scott uses his last one. He needs now a six. He's awesome. Oh, a pre dwarven priest. Seven, made it. <clears throat> Well, he's in trouble. She has no regulars left. Needs a 10. Nine, failed. Lowly's help. Okay, round is over. So, uh, it's, <laughs> he's still eating the cookies. My, my fifth one. Being, being, being good. Very See, Adam, that's a great thing. Yeah. The great thing about, um, DMing, man, tweaking your I style and stuff. I smell these. I should put them in my car like a car for air freshener. Yeah. Although I got no problem with it, especially if you're using trying to use a variety of weapons. We always try to figure that out ourselves. Why would someone use a horseman's mace over a longsword? That's a reason to do it. Another reason to do it is to know that the DM is going to give out magical weapons of all sorts and not just longswords, right? Another reason for, like, you know, is to change the damage. You know, we do the da more damage with two-handed weapons and that kind of stuff. You know, giving them, you can get bonuses with weapon and shield. You got to give them a reason to change out weapons. And maybe that for you is, was the one that makes sense. So, definitely. Just in our combat, can you imagine me having to calculate all that in addition to everything else I do? It just doesn't make sense for the way we play, which is okay. Well, and also, it doesn't take into account, is, were those charts based on armor? Or magical effects. Right, armor. You got you to keep on armor, not magical. Yeah, it's got to be based on armor, no armor. So, bracers is no armor. You got to do it that way. Plate mail is plate mail. Yeah, so give me a, give me a minute. You got to bust for seven more rounds. Five. Lots of fives tonight. You got it. Well, take these away, please. Take them. It's large. This one's large. Lucky one. Go ahead. Searsha. Okay. 
Four. Armor class four. Armor class four. All right, so Tina, let me know when you're done reading it. All right, so uh, plus two, minus two. Uh, plus two, so that's a 13. Should armor class four, right? Nope, misses. Misses. And an 18, minus two, still hits. Shit with the long sword, second right hand. But it's still man sized, right? No, it's large. Is it large? It's large. It's it's a big one. It's big. Eight points. I just that's the best figure I had for it. We don't have an envelope or figure. Eight points. It's not. It's just warhammer. Just one to six. No, two seven two seven, right? Two seven two seven. We won a net too. He's not gonna be a coward and leap away. I missed. Laura Lee's held. Matt. Medwin. Medwin. It's like, ooh, all right. I'm going to engage. He's got mirror image up. He's going to assume that's going to help him. Okay. There's already three. I will allow a fourth, especially if it one's a, well, a shot mage thief. You gotta be able to backstab it. Yeah. There's just it doesn't have organs. Right. It, it it roughly makes itself into a shape of a humanoid or whatever. It's silly body. Right when you get when it comes to what it's going to kill. So like it, it, if it would kill a sheep or a dog or something, it would turn into that as well. That's my right. thought on it. So okay, so you two engage it. How about the three that are inside? They're all climbing down. I'll allow two to climb yeah. down this round. Which two? In there. I'm assuming Lindara and uh, and the Elven Cavalier. Yeah, man. They both climbed down mm -hmm. this round. Okay. All right. We go to outside. So this thing is like, all right. So I can't attack these two. I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna split attacks. One on one on Scons. One on. Search. <sighs> Uh, let's see. The, the melder. Hit die 15. <laughs> Sconce. Oh my gosh. Armor class 5. Yeah, he needs like 4. So. 3. <laughs> ah, Seriously, is a little bit better. Not by much. Armor class 2. Uh, a 6. Sconce. Hit. Searsha. Hit. Sconce took eight. Searsha took eleven. Oh! Sconce. That's a decent amount. Twenty-six. Searsha, you're down to thirty-three. I wonder how hard it would be to hit Edwin in armor class seven. Yeah, it would need a two, I think. Not hard. No, it needs a, yeah, a, a one on the table. It's all like anything but give me that two three roll two. four one who's going first here's a here's a sure that's a 16 whoop how about if I roll a d20 now d12 primary only or this plus two, eight points. Scots. Four. Matt. What that's that? No. <laughs> Normal. Long sword, short sword. On no class, orders. On class, yeah. On class four, roll. You do have a blast on. That hit. Oh, that's so close. 14. That missed. Missed. By, you need, by what? You need 15s, but remember, the bless is on, but you're minus one. So, uh, yeah. oh, that was, uh, you're going to use a special to make it a hit? Yeah. All right. Give me a die 12 and a die 8. Add two. That was worth it. Yeah, I think so. A die 12 and a die 8. Cool. I appreciate that. A lot of the feedback. Plus two. Yeah. 
Seven. That win. Touch. Fourteen. So you missed by one. Did you count the bless? No, no. You won the five, right? You need a, a sixteen. Did you count the bless? Is it for for a touch? Yeah, because it's still monstrous. It's still, yeah, absolutely. That's just based and on. And I list. will use my two specials. Okay. Got it. D ten plus four. Wow, that's good. It gets a save versus half. Go for it. Which I don't think is going to be an issue. Uh, to a twelve. Guess what? I rolled a. Uh, I rolled a. Uh, listen, I rolled a two. Twelve points. You did the most. You, that, that's pretty good. And I can do it again. Yeah, you get two attacks of it. Wow. Uh, move the uh, Walt, move them uh, to, uh, 12 and 9, right? At the movement between Lindara. One moves 12 inches, one moves 9 inches, and then bring Aristide down. 12 and 9. And bring Aristide down the steps. Yeah, down there, down there. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm going to randomize the two. And, and guess what? It can be the same person. All right. I'll go down the list from the four that are fighting. That's the best way to do it. So the first one down there, uh, so Sconce and then Medwin. Sconce, 15, Medwin, you have eight hit points. Uh-huh. Okay, both hit. No special. Sconce, 11, Medwin, two. Which one did he hit? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. One, two, three, four. One. Yep. Nothing. That's why I figured I'd take the chance. Yeah, might as well. Smart move. What's up, Naz? Late night for you, man. And it, Timmy, fighting an, envel yeah. an enveloper. I think I gave it to you. Uh, I yeah, because I uh, we tied and then I rolled four, five. Six. I'm going to use some. So, um, you hear it say, I'm going to move this one over here. You hear it say, in the male voice. Blessed be. No. <laughs> now, the male voice is the mage. The female voice is the cleric. The female elven voice is the cleric. The male voice is the mage. He says, uh, I am smarter than you. And he casts a spell. It's not good, Jay. Any dimension doors over here? Well, he didn't go too far, did he? No, he didn't, because he... Because remember, it's it's still an enveloper. So, mm -hmm. so cast, uh, yeah, so dimension doors out of the fight right there. This round... That was my only fourth level spell. All right. I won a knit, so uh, Laura Lee's held. Uh, Seriously. She will run over and re engage. Okay. Lindara, I'm assuming you're engaging too? Yeah. You're at 15 hit points. Uh, Max, you engaging the main fighters? Yes. Okay. He's nine movement, right? He's nine. All right. With my glowing left hand, she gives it the international sign of love. Who are, Bird. Any, uh, anyone else can do any? The three over there, Sconce. I'm not going to run, run back over there to touch it, that's for sure. Yeah, Sconce is going to. Uh, Sconce goes over and just protects Laurel Lee. You know, you know Goose, the bird. Move Scott, the dwarf. Save the dwarf over there. Move him, move him next to the held. Yep. Her. No, over, 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 held, over, 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 yes. All right, now what about the two there, Matt and... Uh, well, Matt all and the then. primary fighters heading over there, so I'm just going to... You're going to, yeah. I, I want to know you're going to engage or not. No. Nope. Medwin's going to stay there? Yeah. What about Matt? I know you got the shot. Uh, you know what, Medwin, he's 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 running over to check on his friend. Yeah, I'm going to go off three on it now, from now on, okay? That's when Medwin goes over to check on his friend in the cage. Okay. All right. How was the water? He's like, ooh, he's Thirsty. like, ah, I can piss. And he's, yeah. No, no, he never, he never go. 
No. You're, you're dehydrated. Hold it. Hold it in. He's on you. Fighting an enveloper, which yes, yes, a rare monster. It absorb if it kills you. It absorbs things and then takes your abilities. And they get bigger and bigger and bigger. No. This is the wandering antagonist, just wandering around absorbing stuff. Okay. Well, is your cup done, or are you still drinking that? Uh, Ash tag, you can come out. Oh, you already did that. All right, so everyone acted. New rounds. Kind of, except the, this thing is a little more smart, and uh, yeah. But it's kind of like that. Because it can use the abilities. Yep. Thanks. Are the people absorbed? Well, for Tom, please. Uh, roll, roll success. I got two uh, little allergies. Would you roll? Four. You hear you hear a feet the female Cl Elvin Clark voice inside says, uh, "Help me." She'll release you from your <laughs> pain. Go ahead, um, Lindara. Armor class is, is four. Battle shot. Kevin's an extra plus one to hit. And the, the bless is still on two. 14 and 15. Okay, both hit. Large. Large damage. Eight. See you, Patrick. See you Saturday. Eight. Night, Patrick. Thanks for the cookies. They were good. I've been watching everyone eat Not them for right. weeks. See you next time, Patrick. You're going to have to back out next round with Max coming in, but God. Mm -hmm. Two attacks. Because you are still, you still do have your images up. Mm -hmm. Shadow images, which have five points. Go for it. Twelve. Twelve plus, yeah. Oh, I do 14. They both missed. Both missed. Go ahead, um, Searsha. Searsha. So then Matt, uh, move uh, Max, uh, Walt, uh, move Max to engage. The next round, Matt, come back out. We've got an extra plus two to hit now. So. Aristide. And what are you going to do, Aristide? Plus three. No, no, I'll keep him in there because you can attack this right. round. That's right, yeah. Plus three. Yeah, plus three minus one. Plus three. 18 plus. Minus one. Crit. Yeah, it's going well, man. Fighting an enveloper. Curtis, have you ever done, had an enveloper before? Edged. It's not going to oh. matter for this thing other than we want triple damage. 84. Edged. 84 edged. Hold on a second. 84 edged is lose one to five fingers. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's double. So in, in the hero. And the thing with uh, the thing, uh, I gotta tear all this. Well, at least I'm off. I gotta get. Rid I gotta put the battle tech terrain up for the, for Saturday morning. Once your geo hex is already there. Yeah. Yeah. Seven, terrible damage. Seventeen. Yeah. It's not bad. I have a maximum of thirty nine. <laughs> yeah. All right. The two. Uh, the two attacks this round. Page thirty four. Huh. To it. Yeah, Penanglin's another one's really nasty. Oh, that's that. Is that that's the floating head, right? With yeah. all the organs hanging yeah, off. Yeah, and they got it floated its own in vinegar to shrink them and stuff. Yeah. That, well, that's like a real monster from folklore. Yeah. Slavic, I think. Yeah. So, um, Lindara and uh, Searsha get attacked by it this round. It's not going to cast a spell this round. Lindara. Sure, sure. They're both hit easily. 15 hit die, it, it's going to hit easily. Uh, on Lindara, um, you're down to nine. Searsha, you're down to 26. Is there anything in either of the three tomes that looks like a Krampus? <laughs> Not really. Not really. But, uh, but Reaper has a Krampus mini. They do. Mm -hmm. did you there's some really cool new. Uh, you never painted it, did you? No. Now, by the time I got it, it was like right at the holiday. Yes. Yeah. Give me the piece. Right, Tom. Tom, Tom. good. Five. Damn. 
All right, so you're backing out. So, Andara, a two. I actually missed. And, oops, that's wrong. Uh, seriously, got hit. Got lucky, Lindara. Seriously, another five from it. Okay. I'm down to 21. Yes. Go ahead, seriously, you can go first. Seriously, cure late on Lindara. Okay, seriously, cure late on Lindara. Smart move. Lindara, you can roll your, it's a three attack round, correct? Are you still, you know, you're still fighting with the damn scimitar, aren't you? <laughs> you got back, you're at 16. Next round, I'm gonna achieve my secondary pull on my shield. Okay. For this round, that's an 11. I need 12. You need 12s. Can you use a special? You're out. Yep, you missed with it. So you only hit once. Lots, lots of outs. Flump all the way. Uh... Five. Back out, Matt, and Max swings. I'm assuming, right, Max? Yes. Longsword dagger. You got a lot of hit points, too. Mm -hmm. Almost all the specials are burned. It looks like Matt's got one, Aristide's got one, and Sears has got one. That's it? Yep. Wow. Nine. Yeah, that's right. I used these for the... Talk. 17. Well, let me take the nine may hit with the, the, the shout and the... Bless. That's that's plus fifty. That's a four. That hits. So give me a die twelve and a die three and add four. Ten total. Okay. Anyone else do anything? Or at least one more round of held. Yes. Yeah, so uh, he's like, oh, 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 I can do it. Yeah. Uh, all the way he. Just drank all that water down in the cage. So like, you can let me out. I'm a good kid, you know. It'll Officer Spicoli. For, I'm a good kid. Info later. I don't remember what. Well. Not and, yet. Can't let you out yet. Initiative. You must be really bad if the bandits put you in well, there. Well, you must have been one of them. No, I was never a bandit. They, they captured me. I'm worth a lot of money. Six. That's I, what everybody says. I am. I am. I'm a merchant from Harby. Harby's a long way from here. Yeah. Suck it, you're back. <laughs> All right, Linda, are you going, you're going similar with the shield now? Yeah. Right? Okay. Now I'm close to down to zero. 17 plus. Damage. Like, that's nice 11 okay four attack round elvin cavalier will he step up or will he step down roll it roll it roll it all right let's see what we got let's give her a roll a seven a 14 and the seven may even hit i gotta check that I don't know if it's a six all right, so you hit one primary, one secondary again. Die 12, die 3 plus 4. Seriously, you're up. 3, 12. Plus 3, miss. 7 total. Nope, miss, miss. Anyone else with spells or any other effects? Not unless I touch. Sconce goes over and backs up um, and goes over to uh, Lindara and actually uh, gets behind Lindara, the dwarf. Yep, right there. Because she comes out of it. Lorely comes out of her hold. So you swing her around over to the side near Met, between Medwin and, Ta and Matt. Yeah, okay. Yep. Because she is uh, out of the hold now, finally. All right. It attacks. This time, um, Searsha and Matt. Searsha, 17. You guys are lucky I don't crit. Yeah, Max. You guys are lucky I don't crit. I have not crit in a while. Searsha, 6, Max, 10. <coughs> it just keeps on beating with its two fists. 
Let's just shoot down to 15. <coughs> Get in it! Getting close. A 15 hit die monster. Three. Five. Lindara, Searsha, Lindara. 16 hits. Seven. Searsha, your own class is two. Yeah, it hits. They both hit. Wow. Lindara, four. Searsha, 10. Lindara, you're down to 12. Searsha, you're down to five. Searsha, you can go first. What's that? Sconce will cast Cure Light on you. That's a 14. And 18 minus 1 is a 17. 14. You're up, back up to 11. Two hits. Wow. All this. This could be it. It's actually it. All this plus 2. Okay. She's a killing machine. Uh, 1921. Wow. Mm. Nice. And a 9 plus 2. Nice. And uh, Missed. Max. It's all in your hands. Literally. Yeah. Oh my god. Another round of whooping. Mm. Oh my. Well, at least I want to nip that round, right? This is another round of whooping. Give me that. It's you, Bill. It's you. Me? Time. I need a five here. I need to roll a five. And I did not. I rolled a three. I rolled a five. It gets the womp on us again. Okay, so here we go. That for, um, So it's on um, Lindara and Sirsha. Lindara. Wow, a Bill character going down? 10, 16. That's hard to believe. He's going to roll four for damage. It's one die 12. And Dara? I roll four. You're a 12. You're down to six. Tirsha, you have 11 still. Oh, I'm in good shape. Two. See? Right. I'm in good shape. Tirsha first. This should be it. Maybe. 13 plus. And a seven is plus two, six points. Four attack round from the Elven Cavalier. Da, da, da. Hit. Da, da, da. Hit. 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 Miss. Two die 12 and a die three plus seven. As that happens and he's cutting it apart, you just hear that. All the voices inside, like, thank you. They're just, well, some of them are like, curs some of them are cursing, some are, yeah, and just, yeah, yeah. Uh, 29. Yeah. Uh, it, it just, and there's just like flesh and goo, flesh and goo all all over the place as the thing just, there's nothing inside it. It's all absorbed completely. I was going to, I was going to go somewhere really go I had to let it go. <laughs> And that's the end of that. And then you're like, oh, what a horrid monster, uh, uh, Laura Lee says. That thing is foul. Hopefully there's not a lot of them roaming about. Yeah, really. I've never seen anything like that before. <laughs> the Wonders of the Wild Coast. Mm -hmm. So, the wandering antagonist has been dealt with in this one-shot adventure. You've also dealt with, a lot of them ran off. Right, a lot of the bandits, but you took out the leaders of the uh, the hands of prosperity. Eugene, I told you. So he doesn't go back home to see mom, and uh, he's really gonna change the question. Anybody, they knew they knew who he was. Mm -hmm. You're gonna leave them alone, what the parents, yeah. Yeah, there's no reason. They're, they're Mom, hot cattle. We'll leave them alone. They were very, very prosperous. And they're, and they're, and, they're, and the son Fletcher. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, um, Fletcher McManus. Uh, detect magic from sconce cast on, on in the area. You do find some uh, some magical items. Uh, 
So I did, I, I have an item. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'll, I'll tell you offline. One, one item I gave, I made. I will, uh, but the magic stuff, um, the leg had a ring of protection uh, and a magical javelin too. Uh, the, the ring's plus one and javelin's plus two. The, the left hand, she has a plus one chain. That's elf sized. Elf says half elf sized. Plus one shield and a plus two short sword. Wow. The right hand of prosperity. Bracers AC7. Plus one cloak of protection and a plus two horseman's mace. A special item. Plus two horseman's mace? Yeah. And then amongst uh, the, the other gear amongst, you find the equivalent of 320 more gold pieces strewn out between all the rest of the equivalent. So you have rid the southeast area of Norwell from the band, this bandits and the... Wow, I got a raid coming in. Thanks, Kid Nick. Hey, Curtis, good to see you. <laughs> We're just finishing up. We do have our, our, our giveaway. This is the first time from Portrait Workshop, which is awesome. <coughs> I got a tickle cough. Excuse me. Good to see you all. Thank you. Really appreciate it. <coughs> Always nice to see Raiders. Curtis, thanks for the uh, sign up. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> it's going to be an attack just like last night. <coughs> you just got it after you said all that flesh and goo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got you. So, Portrait Workshop, we're giving away a full beta version of, of their program. You can be able to make up all the uh, character portraits like I do. And also, the second giveaway will be these two Reaper miniatures from our other sponsor, Reaper. <coughs> <coughs> there it goes again. It's only so long before this, this stuff gets to me. So, please feel free to sign up. Exclamation point join. Thanks for the raid. Really appreciate it. Everyone else is hung in there. Yeah, a metal one, man. Absolutely. We got a bunch of metals. Yeah. Metal warlord. Dwarf with a halberd. Right? Dwarf halberd deer? Yeah. Yep. And then a Reaper Bones USA. Ingrid female gnome. All right. So, hey, what's up, Doctor Faust? Yeah, it's dude. I've been, I've been, it's been kicking my butt for. I'm getting better. It's just that it's allergies at this point. So, all right. First one we'll get. I mean, I'm assuming if you win, you're gonna want the. Um, you're going to want the uh, uh, beta because it's. It only workshop. works on what? Android or an iPad or iPhone. Right. Doesn't work. Does not work on PC. Not they do not have a PC. PC version of this yet. But you know, it it, it doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, so you have to have an iPhone or an Android phone or an iPad or something to do that. I will need your name, and I will need either your email or your Discord handle. And your zodiac with side. the numbers, so that we can get we'll a uh, world spinner, um, to, and he will we'll get you all the information so that you can log in Stool to the there. site and get and get the, uh, into the beta program, which is awesome. I should sign up. Wow, Walt's got it. And I got it. Yeah, I know. What's that? Yeah. Uh, I can. I can. And I know. T I know. Tino's signing up for the. Uh, uh, for the minis, which is awesome. Not spending All right, closing this out. I spent too much. Yeah, it, it's a great program. It's a great program. And it's just getting better and better and better. I mean, where do you see the, the, the right? The last generation, the, the multicolored hair characters and all the spell effects. Where do you see these characters I'm making up for the group for next Saturday? We're making Battletech characters that, with it, too. It's not just for d d It's really cool. All right, I'm closing this out. Here we go. The winner of this beta, Alcimain, a, a good regular. Okay, and then the winner for the for the uh, minis is Tino. There you go, Tino. You got the minis, <laughs> monkey boogers. 
So also means as long as also means on the claim, he will get it. Also means a great uh, uh, supporter. That's awesome. So make sure Alcimean is on. I think he is. I don't see us. Uh oh. I don't see Alcimean on. I know Tino already got the portrait workshop, but it's part of the. I don't see Alcimean on. I think I'm going to have to pull another one. I'm going to give him 10 seconds to, to claim. Well, it looks like we're going to have to redo all. I don't see Alcimean on still. Got to be on. Yeah. Well, we're going to read you all because Alcimean is not on. Hey, got to be on the claim. I don't see him. I don't, I don't even see him lurking. And if he was a sub and lurking, I'd, I'd, I'd be okay with it. All right, I'm picking a new winner. Dave, DM2215. Dave's on, I see him, and he's a VIP, and he's a Tier 2 subscriber. So I don't care if he claims or not. <laughs> Dave got it. Congrats, Dave. Yep. Tier 2 subscriber. Always, I don't care if he's looking or not. Yep. So, yep. There you go. Awesome. So, I will get him in on that. Tino, I think I have your address already. I'll get you the two minis. Grats. We're going to, who are we reading into? Phoenixy Walkie, we're reading into. I uh, he's cool. All right. We're going to read into Phoenixy Walkie tonight. I don't see any, uh, anyone on with a, um, for the most part, beside that. So, cool. All right. No? No, to, Tino, what are you saying no to? Bones is on. She's not running a D&D &D game. And you know I love Bones and I love Darling, but I prefer reading into them when they're running D&D games. Right? Fair enough. So, um, and they know that. So that's what I tend to do. Because you know I love them a lot. So I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i read into, I'll read into Phoenix tonight. Change up a little bit, because trust me, they're going to get a ton of raids from me. All right? Because you, you know that, everyone. All right. Thanks. What a great fun. Hope you guys had fun tonight. We'll do yeah, Trader Division off. Cool. One shotter. Remember, Saturday. Saturday morning. 9 a.m. Saturday morning. A Battletech one shot. Here with the group. See you Saturday morning, 9 a.m. Gavin DMs Roundtable Sunday night. See you all soon. Thanks, Curtis, and thank you, everyone else, for hanging in there. And let me hit the wrong button, like I always do. Boom. All right, I'm ready for me. I'm going to do treasure. Ray, 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 ray. This is nice. Get over 50. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See you Saturday.